We're back at it again with more Bloodborne, and also, this outfit is not supposed to look like that, is it? Look at what the fuck is going on here. Where's my fuck? Where's my goddamn fucking... Where's, where's my... Where's my shawl? What's going on here? Help me kill the orphan. I'm gonna need help killing the orphan myself. I'm nowhere near that. Here, let me, like... There we go. There we go. There we go. Much, much better. I, I loaded up the game, and I was looking at my outfit. I was like, did I really spend, like, two hours trying to get the stupid outfit from the Chalice Dungeon? And then I was like, wait a minute. I'm losing. I'm it's missing, like, half the fucking set. Um, because I have to re-jailbreak my fucking PS4 every time I start it up, which isn't hard, by the way. It takes, like, two minutes. Um, this game has weird issues when I boot it up without jailbreaking it. Like, it's not, like, allowed to load anything. Almost, I don't know. I remember I tried to, I was I was testing it, and I tried um, without having re jailbroken it. Yep. This will be a good stream to play in the background while modding my 3Ds, which is very easy as long as you follow instructions. I've heard, doodle dump with the 11 months. Thank you. Don't you leave it on rest mode? Yeah, but that's the thing. That doesn't seem to work for um, for uh. It doesn't seem to do everything. Oh no! What I was what I was about to say was um, I tried loading into like a dungeon or like a, yeah, a chalice dungeon, and it didn't load. Like it was just like on the loading screen for two minutes. Then I went and I jailbroke my PS4 in the background, and then as soon as that jailbroke, I loaded back into the game and it loaded immediately. So that also ha might have something to do with the fact that I'm not allowed to like start up the game. On a cold boot, because this is like installed directly to the hard drive. I don't have a license for it. the game. The PS4 needs to be jailbroken for me to even just access the game in general. So it might not like load properly when I fucking boot up the game off of rest mode, even. But it takes like two seconds to reapply the jailbreak, so I just do that and I can play just fine. DRM check, yeah, it pretty much. I must have not installed the game like the best way possible with the PS4 jailbreak. There might have been a better way to install the game that bypasses that without having to re-jailbreak the console every time, every session. But it's too late for that, and this works just fine, so. That's why I was worried about, on, on day one of streaming this, I was worried about my save files not saving because of that. Like, I didn't know if that would persist either, but it does. It seems like it all works out very well. I just need to do foreplay with my PS4 every session. But that's fine. It takes like two seconds. I just do it before stream. Oh, hold on, let me... I'm recording this stream directly to my USB hard drive right now, and I should probably make space, because it only has 87 gigabytes left in these streams. will actually take like... All these recordings are like 30 to 50 gigabytes. <laughs> because I'm a psychopath who streams at like the highest possible fucking res every time. Not res, but you know. Res. What is this recording? Oh, is that. Oh, that's a. I have like three copies of the crit mix stream. Right, I had to re render that because of the fucking copyright. Right, that should be good. How big your hard drives? This is actually an external hard drive. I, um, it's a one terabyte external hard drive. Um, and I don't keep my streams forever. Most streams I delete unless I'm gonna edit them into, like, a video. Um, but I record my streams to an external hard drive as I'm streaming them. So that I can, like, once the stream is done, I can take the hard drive and put it into, I have a second computer just running as, like, a server. And then I just upload onto that. Last I saw, this was a randomized 60 FPS Bloodborne. It was nuts. I want to do those. I want to try that. I'm going to play... I'm going to do at least one more vanilla, like, unrandomized playthrough sometime later this year. In, like, maybe, like, a month or two after this playthrough. Uh, with, like, the Beast Cutter. And then I'm going to start doing randomized playthroughs. Try that mod, too. I'm assuming it installs the same way as, like, the fucking... 60 FPS patch, so it should be easy. Uh, okay, last we played, I got to the, um... 
Blood Moon. Blood Moon is active now. But there are some things I need to do before then. I want to get some of the NPCs into the church, and I also want to send the fucking suspicious beggar to the goddamn sick room. So let me go activate the clinic real quick. Does Blood Moon change the world? Blood Moon is like the midpoint of the game. And like a lot of events change, the lighting changes. It pretty much opens the second half of the game, and so it's a pretty significant event. Oh fuck, I don't. Did I miss. Um, it might be too late to send people to the clinic because. Um, Blood Moon. She's not here anymore. That's fine. I wasn't- I didn't have any benefits for doing that anyways. Other than just sending the guy that kills all your NPCs to hell. Which boss is still tough after multiple playthroughs? I- I haven't played this game since 2015. <laughs> and I only played the DLC once. So, it's hard to say. It's been a long ass time. It's almost like a fresh playthrough in a lot of ways. Um... Well, I can't say I'm particularly looking forward to um, Ludwig in the DLC, or Orphan. Orphan was a pain in the ass, but when I first played the DLC... When I first played the DLC, I must have been on, like, Cycle 3 of New Game Plus, and, like... It was really fucking hard, because I was, like, way out of my league. So, Orphan was a pain in the ass. Josh, for the nine months, thank you. Also, yeah, this is our set. This is my, um, the set that I like to use, the outfit. That I use in my Bloodborne playthroughs. I got the fucking hunter hat with the fucking skeleton outfit. I really like it. Um, well, if I can't activate the clinic, I guess I could try finding the back way into the clinic. I need to go on the umbilical cords anyway, so I'm gonna get in there. Ain't no way. Let's just take from me to level up. Like 15k right now. Very well 17k, yeah. We're getting up there in terms of expenses, huh? Jeez. Look at all my bad man's knowledge that I don't use. That I don't need to right now. Farewell, good may you find So many bloodborne things you can say. Well, playing Bloodborne don't make any fucking sense outside of Bloodborne. It's really funny. Uh, the Forbidden Woods. I don't remember how to do this. But there's a route in here that brings you back to the fucking, um, to Central Yarnum. And you get you get to go into the clinic. I'm trying to do that. But I don't remember where you go from here other than there's like a there's like an underground area with like a poison puddle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look for that while I kill these guys and get some files and shit. I don't remember anything about that route though. Oh, I know it's, it's around here somewhere. The fact that you can fling the bodies so easily in this game by running over them when they have items attached to them, they just like you can like make them fall off the edge while they have an item on them, and you can lose the item. Okay. Ow. Armored Core? I've never played an Armored Core. It's in the Oil Swamp area? Okay, that's good to know. I was just headed there. I was just headed there before I fucking died. Wild how real this game looks at 60. Yeah, it was fake at 30, but now it's real at 60. Real, normal fucking video game that feels good to play. Can you believe it? Who are you? Oh. I thought that was a good one of the guys with stones. I think I'm gonna end up using, uh, oh my god, how did I not get hit by that? 
I think I'm gonna end up using Ludwig's Holy Sword this playthrough, even though I don't have like any points of strength. But I've got a lot of arcane, so it should make it usable. And it scales mediumly well with skill. It scales better with strength than it does with skill. But not by much, so it should be fine. You are not wanted here! Where's my money? I didn't realize how bad this weapon's arcane scaling was. Nobody ever talks about that except for Rundus. Who informed me that this weapon only gets like 40 points of extra damage. Even if you're at like 99 arcane with the fucking things maximally leveled up. This mod, the only thing that this mod does to the visuals is just put it down to 720p. Bro, this weapon is so cool. The way that Bloodborne weapons have, like, a lot of mobility built into their attacks, as well as having a quick step, when you're locked on at least, is, like, such a massive step up in terms of, like, moveset and, like, just, like, fun factor of the game compared to any Souls game in Elden Ring, it really pisses me off that the rest of the Souls games going forward weren't more like this. Like, trick weapon or not, you should at least be able to have, like... Ooh, you see that distance? Hold on, this is like a perfect place to test this, actually. You actually get more distance out of a fucking back dash than a forward dash with this, you see that? Yeah, it's interesting that you don't get the forward lunge out of this if you step forward and then R1. If you, like, step to the side and then R1, you get, like, a forward dash, but not with a forward, you know. You know what I mean. The, the way that attacks have a lot more, you know, finesse in this game feels so much better. Did I just find the place I was looking for? I have not been in here yet. Well, I just stumbled into it. Yeah, the footsies weapon. That's why I like this weapon in particular. That one attack is why we're on this build. But I have some other weapons I'd like to try doing full playthroughs with. I think the next playthrough of this game I'm going to do is going to be like a... It's not going to be like New Game Plus, but it's going to be a fresh New Game Cycle. Did you know yeah. you can use Prime to support your favorite streamer? It's a wow moment. Wow. Dark Prelude with the two months. Thank you for the reminder. I'll do another playthrough of this game. But I'm going to use a save editor to give myself the weapons that I want, just like right away. Just so I don't have to like, you know, min-max for them. So I can just get like the fucking beast cutter right away. Without having to like loot the DLC as soon as that becomes available, as well as like the church cannon. I want to do a blood tinge strength build so that like, it becomes like a cannon fucking, not cannon cannon, but like, cannon weapon build. I've been fucking about it. There we go. Yeah, we're in the FromSoft poison pool. It's not that big in this game, thankfully, but we gotta go through here eventually. At least for the one of the unbuilt reports. Dudes, get out of here. Bro, the game can't fucking handle these tiny dudes. Get me out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm in Shitsville right now, dude. We'll go up there in a second. We'll just, oh, yeah, here we go. Secret pocket souls. Can't elude me. There is an old skip in this game 
um, that they patched out that let you, like, right off the start of the game, if you pick the Hunter's Axe, if you do the leap attack, you can, like, jump over the wall, and then go down this ladder and, like, sequence break the whole game. But they patched that out. Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne is, like, in terms of interconnected world, like, being, like, mind-blowing, um, Bloodborne is, like, number two to Dark Souls doing that. Like, you know how Dark Souls has those fucking gotcha moments where you find, like, a fourth way to wrap back around a fucking Firelink Shrine? This game kind of does that, and this is a good example of it fucking coming up this ladder and being like, whoa, it's this other side of Central Yarnum. Game devs hate fun bugs. Oh, I can kind of support them patching that out. Yeah, it's it's this. On the other side of this wall is the big dude with the, the axe. And if, if you feel like jump onto the coffins in a fucked up way and then like do that over the wall, you can get over the wall. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 ranks at the bottom of that fucking scale because like... It's like... It wraps back around. The way that that game's levels are interconnected is like so, like, stupid that it might as well be Giga Brain. Like, what's is, what is the famous meme, the fucking, the way that the, that one windmill area connects to the fucking lava dungeon? I forget what the name of that, those areas are, but the way that that connects is, like, so insane. You can still see them break like that? No, you can't. No way. I thought they fixed that. Oh, you know it. Fucking alien dude, kin type enemy. Gotta break out the fucking the blicky to deal with you. Earthen peak and iron keep. Yeah, earthen peak is right. That shit's peak level design right there. I'll, I'll describe. I'll describe that. Uh, if you've never played Dark Souls 2, there's like a, there's like a normal looking kind of like castle-ish area, but then you go down a, an elevator and then you're in like hell. Or is it going? You actually go up an elevator, don't you? I don't remember. You go up. Okay, yeah, that's what makes no sense about it. Is that like, I think the way that it's actually supposed to work is that it's connected to like mountains. And like you're inside of a mountain, but also underground or something. Nice clinic. Um, but you go up an elevator from like a just a normal looking like castle windmill area, and then you're in hell. Yeah, you're suddenly in fucking Mordor. Like it would make sense if you're going down, but you go up, and that's what's like crazy about it. But I think if you look at the skybox, it makes sense because like there's a mountain or some shit that doesn't make any sense. It's really weird. Man, the fucking lantern in this game does like jack shit compared to Elden Ring. Is this game a mimics? Mm, no. Not that I know of. Pretty sure it doesn't. I never got to send anybody here. I was too late to activate the thing, but it doesn't really matter. the real one or the fake one? I don't know how to say her name, but is this the real one or the fake one? Fake? Isn't she supposed to be, like, hostile here and she attacks you? Am I... Did I come here in a really weird way that she's already, like... 
Where's the real one? I didn't see the alien. Did I kill her? Did she give me the umbilical cord? You have to come here before the moon turns red. That makes sense. But you don't get, um... Oh, you don't get her umbilical cord if you do that. You only get it if you come here, um... After. And there it is. Right, I forgot about that. You get something else for if you kill her now? You get, like, a thing that gives you, like... The second best, um... Rune for getting bolts back. Like when you do a visceral attack, you get bolts. You get like two bolts for doing a visceral. That's like the rune you get if you kill the hostile one. Either you kill her now, or after she gives birth, you get a cord. I killed her now. <laughs> Blood rapture. chair. No way. Oh, there, there she is. This is the start of the game. Hey, the Kanehurst summons. Yo, I should do that too. Forgot that that's there. This is the real... Isofka, she gets turned into an alien by the fake one. Did I kill this? I think you get... You don't really get anything, you just kind of get... Oh, okay, well. They wanted to make it a staircase and not an elevator, but it was a PS360 game that caused loading problems. Oh, that's funny. Dark Souls 2 is a weird game. Do you remember the early DS2 trailers? No, I... I didn't get into these games until, like, after Dark Souls 2 had come out. I think. I don't even... I didn't even see any Bloodborne trailers when the game was coming out. It just kinda, like, came out and I was like, holy shit, well... I have enough to level up, and I also have the Kane Hurst summons. I want to do... I want to kill Ludwig, like, now. Can I do that? How good do you think my chances are of killing Lud Ludwig, like, right now at, like, level, what, like, 50-something? Probably not that great. 54. About to be 55. Welcome. What is it? Very let me I want to get his weapon. Because... I want something more to do with my arcane stat. Is he streaming it? Oh, Ludwig, the streamer. Uh. Well, at the very least, even if it's a bust, I'll get access to the fucking guy that you can farm for vials. Yeah, I mean, people play this game at fucking blood level 4. Anything's possible if you try. Well, in that case, let me put some more points into strength preemptively, just because that you need 16 strength for the, um... Ludwig's Holy Sword. I'm just gonna buy some vials. Can't be bothered. I'd like to have, um, a great sword. This weapon is pretty nice, but it lacks, um, some good utility in, like, crowds. A great sword with, um, projectile attacks would be really cool. How do I access to the DLC? I got the item from the messengers that they like give to you. I forgot what it was, so. What is it that you do? This? Did 
I don't remember. I know it's like one they added like a new headstone that you use for the DLC, but I don't remember where or which one. You have to get grabbed by it. And Magdala. Okay, I know where to go. Cathedral Wood. Any amygdala will do? I guess I could have gone to the, um... Yeah, girl village. That would have been faster, but whatever. I'm here now. I also meant to talk to you. Forgive me, I'm a bit out of sorts. So, no blood today, I'm afraid. Okay. I forgot that they could even give you blood. Like, NBCs have like, unique blood vials, like single-use blood vials that have certain buffs on them. Hers gives you, like, stamina regen. Ludwig's Holy Blade or Holy Moonlight Sword? Ludwig's Holy Blade is just kind of like a cooler version of the Moonlight Sword. Hello, amygdala. Cursed the fiends, their children too. What a cool game. This is the shit that can their happen in this game. Forever true. Yeah, even if this ends up being a bust and we can't kill this guy, we can't pull it off, I'll still have access to, um, the, um, really good, like, the, there's like, if you haven't played this, there's a, there's like a little goop enemy that drops five vials every time you kill him and he's like right next to Ludwig, like the boss arena. If they get the devs threw you a bone if you're like dying a bunch of that fight. So at the very least I'll have access to killing that guy for future endeavors, which is great, because that's like this game's biggest issue is getting vials. Oh that guy's a beast cutter, well. That's the weapon I want to do another playthrough with. At some point. Listen to the sounds it makes. Ow. That noise at the very end. Yeah, isn't that like the bleach weapon? People have been referencing that in the videos about this weapon. This guy's buff. Oh my god, he's the gatekeeper of the DLC. I'm trying to parry him. How the fuck? I think Bloodborne should have had an Estus system. Um, not necessarily. I think it's fine as it is. It would be nice if there was a minimum amount of vials that you would have as like a baseline, just like as like a mercy limit, you know? Like if you if you had zero vials and zero bullets off of the spawn, you should in, you should instead have like five each, just like as a minimum, just so you're not fucked every time you're completely drained. You missed the lantern. It doesn't auto light. Thank you. I have not. I've, I've not done this DLC in a long, long time. There we go. Oh, they all have this fucking weapon. Oh, dude. I just want to use the beast cutter because of the fucking noises it makes when it like clings back together. I also enjoyed using the threaded cane early on for like crowd control. So it would be nice to have like a juiced version of that weapon that's actually like fun to use. Threaded cane isn't all that 
good feeling. <laughs> as good as the utility can be. Yeah, the range is crazy. It's the only people just say that the weapon is a little slow, but I mean like it's got its benefits. And I'm sure that the non-transformed version of the weapon is like good for just like a if you just need like a normal speed weapon. As well as. Also, it's got blood scaling, which is cool. I've never done a blood tinge build. Anything that involves that stat, I've never fucked with. What is going on down there? What the fuck? Did they just kill each other? Oh yeah, the hunters like actually kill stuff here. Forgot. They're hunters. Jesus Christ, that does have range, you weren't kidding. Oh, shit. Fuck it. They do not stagger. I can not get the parry for the life of me right now. Might only be certain moves. Everything he does looks like a fucking charge R2. Oh, he had like a little turret there too. Blunt stones on the beast cutter. What's a blunt stone? Do you mean um? Oh, the um imprints. The you mean gems? Blood gems. Finally got a stream not ending. Fuck. Oh. I'm on the wrong side of town. Where am I? Oh, yeah. No buck me. Oh. Okay, well that answers my question from last stream. If I if fucking jumping his iframes, it hella does not. That was an accidental jump. That was eight shit. Where did I die? It was like right over here. Nope! Oh, okay. I almost died from the fall outright. Holy shit. Everybody's getting involved. Okay, they're all killing each other. Somebody has my souls. I think he does. Uh, this is not going well. Holy shit, please fight each other. What's going on? Are they allies? I think they are. They're guard dogs. Oh my god. This is another new weapon. Get him. It's well. That bleach guy still has my phone files. You trying to get me? Hey, there's a beast cutter, whoa. I had a decent amount of uh, blood echoes, but not enough to work. Uh, not enough to be upset about losing. That weapon is hella easy to get if you were trying to like just get it right away.
All you have to do is get access to the DLC and just run in and grab that and leave. I have like no stats to use it, but check this thing out. I run. Keep up out. Look at this thing. I just like the noise it makes at the end of every attack. It takes a lot of stamina, but that makes sense for this kind of weapon. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a playthrough with this thing next. Look at this thing, dude. It's so cool. R2 has a combo if you hit R2 again. Makes sense. Yeah, they should do another game that has this style of weapon. It's just too good. Tinder is giving me an ego. Tinder. Caps at 99 likes. That seems like a really low cap. How the fuck do you parry these guys? I really should just be running through them. There we go. No, oh, what the visceral attack? Bloodborne moment. They're all mid. Makes sense. UK moment. Alright, you know what? Fuck these guys. Killing all my vials. Oh no, the item. Whatever, I'll get it later. Lies of P? Yeah, Bloodborne 2. The game just looks like janky Bloodborne. Crazy in here. Discord is the new dating app. Discord is like Discord is too too many people are using Discord. It's getting too centralized. People used to use fucking forms. But now everything's on Discord, everything's centralized. Every app apps have like ruined the internet. And like forms in general. Now you just like Pick whatever fucking social media site. Like one, you just pick one of like five or six. I should get Discord Nitro. There, I, sometimes I try to upload shit and it's just like, oh, you need Nitro, you need Nitro. How do you get it on 60? Uh, jailbroken PS4. It's like, quite a process, but if you have a PS4 Pro that you can jailbreak, you get to do this. Illegal. Highly illegal. Custom patch of the game. This is what it's like as an American to try crossing the street to get to the McDonald's. You have to cross a six lane highway while getting shot at. Just to get to the McDonald's. What the fuck? There's another gun. Okay, dude. I'm not in the transform mode. Okay. What are you doing? What are you looking at? Favorite boss? Uh, I don't really know. There, I just kind of like them all. I think Martyr Ligarius is pretty sick. 
the run back to him fucking sucks, but actually killing him is cool. Like, the fight itself is cool. Lugarious. Gary? I should just call him Gary. What the fuck? Boom hammer. Oh, great. These guys are so buff, dude. What the fuck? Thank you. Get in there. Get possessed. I have the fucking... Oh my god, stop. Please. I have the echo that gives me, uh... The echo. The rune that gives me health when I do a visceral attack. So if I, like, trade really badly like that, and I get the visceral out of it, then I get all my health back, plus, and then some. It's really cool to see the health bar go from, like, zero to full, like that. Favorite boss is Orphan. Orphan's hard, but maybe this time around I'll clobber him. First time I did the DLC, it was on my, like, my New Game Plus 3 save file. And I had just entered a new, new game cycle, so, like, it was extra hard to do, like, anything. I should have just done, like, a fresh playthrough. But it's cool, though. I'm about to play Bloodborne, but no 60 frames. It's really unfortunate that you have to go to such a length to fucking play the game at a proper frame rate, dude. PS5 could fucking eat this game for breakfast, dude. Oh my fucking god! Grandpa just fucking blew up. <laughs> fucking Breaking Bad, dude. Shit. Oh. Okay. I totally forgot about that, dude. Fucking Breaking Bad. <laughs> what the hell? That's so cool. They fucking strapped Grandpa to a fucking dynamite. I could get the, um... Isn't there like a bonfire here? I'm gonna go activate that. Ah! Uh. Right. I should've just waited for that. I forgot about this guy. Fuck this guy. I... What am I doing? Fucking... Yeah, pick up the wild dude. Yeah. There's a bonfire. Pass the guy, and then the fucking super boss version of the goddamn, um, Cleric Beast. What's up, Claybold? It's okay, I got the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man drip. Look at the- look at the raised webbing that this outfit has. It's okay. I'm glad I got this outfit. This is my favorite outfit combo set. Raised webbing bat chest. It's true though. It's just the best. For Spider-Man to have like a texture like that on his suit is just too cool. Do you have the emo hair too? Yes, I do. Hold on. Once I get to a bonfire, I'll show it off. Up. Beat his ass. Thanks. Isn't there a bonfire in here? There's no bonfire in here. I've been lied to by myself and others in the chat. Okay.
Is there a bonfire in there? Like, all the way down there? I thought that there would just be a boss there. I didn't see a bonfire. I thought it was by the stairs. Bonfire. It's just a boss. Just in the base game version. Oh, okay. I thought that... I thought that there was a bonfire by the stairs in the DLC. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, well. Alright, let's see if we can get back to fucking... Okay. It's hard to go from a run to a dodge. Sometimes you jump by accident, and then you get hit killed because you have no eye frames when you jump. people be like you don't actually stab each other here it's just a it's just a stereotype guys we don't actually slash each other all day long and this is them just trying to get onto the fucking bus oh okay. is that how the Elden Ring jump iframes work it's just lower body iframes it's pretty interesting So it's only the bottom half of your body that gets iframes then? Like if you still get hit in like the head or something, you still like take damage, but it's only the lower half. That's interesting. Bitch! That's an exit for Bloodborne, Bloodborne New Game Plus. I do want to do another playthrough of Bloodborne relatively soon, but not immediately. I do. We're gonna play KH3. That sub goal we'll playthrough of KH3 plus like Remind and all that will be after this. And then after that, probably more Bubble, I think. Beast Cutter, Strength, Blood Tinge playthrough, perhaps. Bloodborne is a game that once you like get the playthrough like downloaded into your head, it's very easy to digest multiple playthroughs of the game, I think. Especially once I start using the randomizer. I did say that if I if Bloodborne ever got poured to PC, I would become a Bloodborne Rando streamer overnight. And I that's partially true. Bloodborne Rando exists. I can patch it onto the PS4. Yeah, I'd love to try that out. But I'll do one more vanilla playthrough before then at least. I think. And I'll do, that'll be the um Beast Cutter run. What the fuck? Okay. I want to relive the torture of Cage 3. I can handle Remind. See, it'll be interesting for me to replay Cage 3 because I have kind of figured out how to not be angry at that game. You'll see more when I've been alluding to this, but you'll see when we get to it. Guys, fucking beast weapons. Beast boss. Move set. Wasn't this a weapon in vanilla, but then they like juiced the fuck out of it in the DLC somehow? How did they do that? I forget what how they what they did to it that made it like good. Can you even parry this? Yeah, this the red outfit forms can give you the circle finisher, which is pretty nice.
I don't have any bullet. Bye, bye, Yeah, they also made a um, an arcane version of this too, where you turn into an alien and like you do little goop attacks, and, like you like fly around. Stop fucking dying to this guy, dude. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, you know what? I'm leaving. I don't have the... Oh, fuck. This place doesn't go anywhere. This is this guy here and his fucking weapon. Alright, you know what? I bet you get this guy to blow up if, like, you save the bombs. Dude, he's gonna chase me. Maybe I could get him to kill all the other enemies here for me. No, maybe he's not allowed to get over. Look at this fucking guy. Some of these guys have, like, a weak point if, like, you poke them and they fucking thing them up. They stagger like crazy with this weapon, so that's cool. Eternal, they give us up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, these guys stagger like crazy. They got a lot of health, but they die. Just don't get them all involved at once. Look at this. Uh -oh. How about this? Does this work here? Not any better than the other one. And, uh, stop shooting me. I need to deal with this guy. There are a lot of them. Fucking gun Andy's over here, dude. What are you gonna do? Bro, holy shit, how did he shoot me? Through the wall? That was like the perfect angle. Will you come over here? He's just gonna stand there and shoot, huh? What a bitch. I should just like run past them, but they're gonna shoot me in the back if I do. Is he actually coming over here? He actually, actually kind of is. Hold on. Alright, here we go. I'm dead. I didn't think he would do that. I know there's a bonfire around here. I'm getting close to the Ludwig zone. I need to get there so I can get my free vials. And at least the fucking goddamn shortcut. This is I'm still spawning at the start of the area, right? Jesus Christ, that's actually a disaster. I should have been more careful. This area is pretty rough at this point. I'm not used to these weapons. These are fucking DLC weapons. Hard to parry them properly. Alright, no more fucking around. I'm just beelining. I want to stream Demon Souls at some point soon. When I remember asking, I was asking people, I was like, I have Demon Souls Remake, but I also want to play the 60 FPS patch for the OG. Which would you rather see first? And people around here unanimously said OG at 60 FPS. You guys are pretty cool sometimes. Sometimes, all the time. 
You guys, you guys have the right idea. <laughs> Something. Oh. Okay, I need to kill these guys normally. They just blocked the way too much. The non Kingdom Hearts Andes are cool. Kingdom Hearts only Andes. Why do people hate the remake? Um. It takes certain liberties that many feel are not in line with the original enough. Um, the music, the new music sucks. It's not awful, but like it's just it's just worse outright. I I think that graphically it looks great. It's just, artistically, it's got some liberties that aren't so great. I think it's a really good remake, it's just... The OG has a certain quirk to it that you just can't really remake all that well. Even if its visuals, like the OG visuals, are, like, objectively worse. Also, the remake doesn't have, like, any of the same sounds as the original. And I think the sounds, especially in Demon Souls, are very like, oh my god. The sounds in the original have an atmosphere about them that, like, you know. Like, the one thing I wanted them to do in terms of liberties is I wanted them to make the Maiden Estrella fight, like an actual fight with Night Gale, or whatever his name is. The guy that um, protects Estrella that you have to kill more or less to actually like get to Maiden Estrella. I wanted them to make that into an actual fight instead of just like the most awkward NPC f fight in the entire franchise. And they didn't do that. All they did is they just made they just made the music there really bad. Did you know that Demon Souls Remake has a pause button? A secret pause button like Elden Ring? Didn't Demon Souls Remake- yeah, photo mode will pause the game. Didn't Demon Souls Remake retain the fucking- you know... The classic input where you- Uh, the kick input? Doesn't Demon Souls Remaster still have that problem where if you like press forward and R1 at the same time you do the stupid fucking kick that does nothing? Didn't they keep that in the fucking remake for no reason? Yeah, Yorovin. Why is that Gale? That's like a demon. That's like a Dark Souls 3 thing. Night Gale. Yeah, also the UI. Oh my god. I'm still alive. I thought I died. Yeah, the UI is the shitty modern minimalistic. Whereas the original game had like a really cool stylistic UI that made sense for the game. What level are you? I'm like 54. 50, well, I'm level 55. I have no right to be here, but I'm gonna try. At the very least, I want to get the bonfire slash shortcut that lets me kill the guy that drops the vials. But at best, I want to at least kill Ludwig and get his sword. That's going to be a tall fucking task at this level, but I'm going to try. Also, I'm just going to run through these guys, too. I'm not fucking around with stupid gun Andes. Oh. Alright. Shortcut's right here. Yeah, also, the, the cat ring status icon is not just like a fucking photo of a cat anymore. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? Well, we're more alike than you think. This is the hunter's nightmare. You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters. They put the cat photo in the credits? That's cool, at least. This is what the poor fool. What the fuck? To look forward to. 
Random pop off. Don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late, unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. Nightmares are fascinating. I take oh, yes, Benadryl. I you sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. As if the spirit of Bergenworth lives on within you. Such inquisitive hunters will relish the night. I don't think I'll kill Simon. I'm not going to use his weapon. Beware. Secrets are secrets for the bow blade. What and scaling does it have? Is it skill and blood? Uncovered, especially when the sea I know it's a really good weapon, supposedly. I don't know why, though. Yeah, that's the bow guy. Bow blade guy. Wish you could turn the emotes off. The fucked up thing about it is that if you hold... It's just like Demon Souls. It's exactly the same problem as Demon Souls. One of the many problems that Demon Souls has that this game also fucking has. Where you hold X and you shake your controller around like an asshole very subtly and you do fucking pop-offs. Can you turn it off in like the system settings? It's funny to have happen randomly, but... I'm not trying to... Die for that. Comedy factor. Comedy button. Can you just unequip them? You can't unequip them. Oh fuck. I tried switching them, but all of these, you can't like switch them to nothing. It's a thing. Well, maybe there's a way to like turn it off in here somewhere. They'd be so fucked if he couldn't, dude. Also, shout outs to this PS2 theme. My fucking PS4 Pro is cooler than my PS5. It's so stupid. Did in here? This is the illegal settings. If you've ever wanted to see what the jailbreak shit has to offer, here it is. Yeah, why the fuck doesn't the PS5 have custom themes, dude? They just want to... Every new fucking console that comes out, they just don't have themes on launch. PS4 had no themes on launch. It was crazy. PS5, no themes on launch. What are they doing? How stupid can they be to do this every time? No backwards compatible, no fucking PS3 backwards compatibility, no fucking, no nothing. Thank God the PS5 can play PS4 games though. That's like, PS5 is basically just like a PS4 Pro. Two. I guess you can't do that. We'll just have to live with the fucking random pop-offs, random sitting down. I'm gonna make them all sitting down. No, that would actually be the worst one to have happen randomly because you have to like stand back up. But it, maybe you could like low profile something by accident if you sat down. Whatever. I'll just have to deal with it. Or like be very, very fucking still while I, I'm doing shit. Alright, we got the shortcut open. Wasn't there a emo in Dark Souls 3 where you fall down to the ground really fast? In some way. And you could use that to dodge stuff like really reliably. That's a joke. I remember doing early PvP for that game on like the early patches where the fucking S talk just killed everything and it was really stupid. And I was like, wow, this game is mid. How are you alive? What the fuck was that with? What? How can you be moving? I guess I have to go that way. Oh, there's a ladder. 
Patches game? That'd be funny. I guess you could make patches in the character creator pretty reliably, right? Isn't that, like, easy to do? What's with the fucking KH1 Hollow Bastion camera that we have right now? You see this? You just got the KH1 Hollow Bastion camera buff. Also the pump Halloween Town pump uh, camera buff. Pumpkin. I keep trying to call it Pumpkin Town. My brain really wanted to say fucking pumpkin in that sentence, dude. Pumpkin Town. I should just call it that from now on. It'd be funnier than saying the correct thing. What is that? I don't remember this area. Stay away from me. Don't fuck with me. Oh, he has the cannon. Lingering bitch. Bro, tried to blend in. This is the guy. Five vials every time. Alright, what? How do I get to the bonfire? Alright, this, this wraps back around. There it is. Yeah, I'm gonna try Ludwig for a little bit. At the very least, though, I got access to the goop guy. What kind of stone this guy drops? Chunks. Ooh. I might be able to upgrade my weapon now. I don't think I've upgraded into chunk territory. That guy is, uh, that guy. I thought that was a weaker hunter. No, that was the fucking zombie maru. Did I say that? The bleach weapon? I, well, I forgot. I think my weapons are at plus six right now, and they require three chunks or one chunk. I don't know. Let's check. If you dropped into an SMT game as yourself, which one would it be? Yeah, three chunks. I only have two. Um, that's a good question. Let me think about that. Uh, soul hackers, so that um, Namisa, something, something, something sexual and funny. Yada yada. You know where this is going. Emo. What would I do for an Anamisa emo? I haven't thought of anything with that character that would make sense for an emo. What headstone do I use for this DLC? I just realized I have not um, touched a headstone that involves this place. By the back entrance. While I go over here. Oh, it's this one. Right. They just had this fucking... This thing here, like, forever in vanilla without it doing anything. But then it actually does something. Here, that's cool. They were able to just use that. Oh, look at 
this is like I'm gonna start getting um have you guys ever heard of resort shirts? Also known as bowling shirts. I'm gonna start wearing those. I like to wear big t-shirts, so it kind of makes sense that I would just start wearing those instead. Alright. Well, that took us forever to get here, because I forgot how crazy this fucking place was, but... At the very least, we got access to our little dude that drops shit. Bile farming will be much easier going forward if we need to. Alright, here goes nothing. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat this guy at this point, but I'm going to do my darndest. This is like the best boss, most memorable set piece in like all of the Souls games right here. See, this was especially cool for this guy to be, like, you know, super memorable, because, like, everybody knows he's the most well-known off-screen character in the game, because everybody uses the fucking Ludwig's holy sword. So seeing the actual Ludwig and, like, fighting him is, like, cool, because everybody at least knows him. And I have not hit once. Oh, the guy just died. Oh well. The guy in the cutscene actually is like here in the fight. Let's see what this does for me. I didn't even get the item out. I'm fine! What a guy. I was trying to get my rally back. I should have just healed. It's very rare to get him to live, but it's possible. If you get him to live, does he have dialogue? Like, after the fight? Is he just, like, on the ground? Doing shit? That's really funny. Does he respawn every time? Also, you can kill this guy through the wall, can't you? Thank god. Oh, that makes the grind so much better, dude. But you need to pick up the item anyways. Oops, I forgot about that. Funny little quirk of the video game. Maybe you can get the item through the wall too. I don't know. Well, the nice thing about death looping here is that if I die so fast that I don't use any vials, then I, I'll, I'll at least be profiting on my vial count, which is cool. Jack Horseman. Alright, fantastic attempt. Fantastic attempt. Just a button check. If you kill him with a visceral attack, you get a different death line. That's cool. Well, it seems like we do good damage, which is good. Damage isn't awful. Oh, you can get it through the wall. How nice of them. How nice of them to do that. I think the best way to grind the vials then with the DLC is to like kill that guy and then immediately use the... The bold... Not the bold hunter mark, but the hunter mark that just like lets you leave without keeping your souls. I just need to figure out how to get up his ass and stay there. So I can go him. Look at my beast meter, we're already in there. Oh fuck. Alright, 
that's damage. Ow, that's damage received. What is that? Come Blaster 9000! Okay, dude. I think I had these attacks. Alright, he's got some staggers if you go in. Uh, that did a lot more than I thought. I guess I could whip out the flame sprayer. I don't know how good that would be. This weapon is kind of fucked up because it has arcane built into it, so it's not allowed to use buffs. But it has um, such low scaling. I guess it has a good base arcane, but the scaling is so bad that like, it's not even an arcane weapon, it just kind of has it. At least I have the beast percentage boost. Or the strats on level 1 cage 2. Uh, the strats are um, be good at the video game and use the shit that the game has. I tried to dodge that. It's my favorite attack in all of gaming right there is the, the horse-like enemy does the rear hind leg kick that hits you in two frames. It's my favorite attack in all of gaming right there. Well, at least this is a fantastic vial farm. Even if you death loop, you, you get something out of it. Oh man, I didn't get it. Through the wall this time. I should spend my insight so that I get more um, beast activation. I'm gonna run out of pelts though in a minute, but that's fine. Can you even gun parry this guy? I don't even—I don't think you can. This guy's too big for that. Yeah, this is worth it because if I get the Ludwig's Holy Sword, then we're in business. I have Molotov cocktails. I should try whipping him at him. Also, ow. I am, oh, I had no time to react to that. What? I don't know. Do people play cage without items like DMC? No, it's not the same in Kingdom Hearts. Items in DMC, like, negatively penalize you at the end of the mission, and also you have to pause, you have to full pause the game to use them. Whereas items in Kingdom Hearts are really fucking good, you can like use them immediately, and also MP exists, so like getting your MP back is like, you, you just need ethers. Not speedruns, I just mean in the first playthroughs. No, items are good, people use them. They gotta make a Bloodborne too, I think. Imagine Bloodborne with jumping. Imagine what kind of level design would be possible, and imagine what kind of boss fights you could get if, like, jumping and maybe even air dashing existed. Alright, last beast pilot. Let's make it count. Great. Ooh, the R2 did something there.
I should use R2s more, I guess. How did that hit me? Thank God for Blood Bro. Guy that gives me bottles. That's his name now, Blood Bro. Did the jump? The jump? Oh my god, really? This guy ever stopped moving? Phase 1 sucks. Phase 2 is better. Ironically. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Blow up. Alright, that's that was good. Very good. Okay. Wow, okay, that did damage. Did I, was that two hits or was that just one fucking hit to the dome? Oh, alright, we're gonna be here for a minute. This is the this is the Ludwig stream, okay? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind, um... I, I've always felt that FromSoft is bad with sequels. Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, I don't give a fuck about them. But... It might be worth it to have something of a mid-Bloodborne sequel, if it means we get modern fucking gameplay conventions out of them. And another game with trick weapons. I wouldn't mind. It might be worth it. It has like two instant hits, that's fucked. Or at the very least, do something that uses like the fucking... The principles of this game. Trick weapon gameplay, fucking fast dashing shit. Aggression. I always... I've wanted them to make like a sci-fi game with this gameplay for a long time. Something like... Imagine Dead Space, but it plays like this. That's what I've wanted from them for a long time. That's the move that killed me. I am actually dead, I was right this time. Ow. Fallen Order. I get... <sighs> Fucking... Oh. Jedi Fallen Order. It was so... Such a reactionary game to Sekiro. It's so annoying. It's just sloppy Sekiro with lightsabers. And the fucking the stupid modern gaming convention where you're not allowed to turn around properly. You know? That's what that game is. It's probably alright if you get into it, but I didn't get into it, really. For those reasons. It's such a reactionary game to Sekiro. It's like immediately fucking... Sekiro came out that year, and then fucking Star Wars game came out. It's like, just stuck in that game off immediately. It's probably a good game. I'm just a bitch. Look, the fucking... The brain sucker guy is trying to get into the fight. Bro thinks he's invited. You see the... He's like on the fog wall. This is going to be difficult. I should try the Tantras. <laughs> Brain sucker, isn't me. Dome polisher. That's me. I need to I need to do the fucking stickman sham VTuber bit. It'd be really funny because like visually it would add nothing to the stream because the stickman, the official stickman sham has no face. So it would literally just be like a rig of just me kind of like shifting around every now and then. I don't have the world gig saw. I know it's top, but... 
Fuck, that move is so fucked up, dude. I have to heal two vials for that. That's a temp this attempt already sucks. Bring the taunches. This is pretty good. I need a weapon that can just reliably hit. Oh my fucking golly jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. VTubers are funny. VTubers appeal to the low IQ anime community. It's so funny how people so easily get hoodwinked. Yeah, I am profiting vials. That's like the, the cope that's holding this together right now. For most attempts, at least. How many fucking vials are in my back pocket? You don't get to see... Like your like your chest files, right? I've got I've got a lot. Yeah, VTubers are fine as a whole, like the concept is fine, the people that do it are not inherently bad. But the the VTubers that are just appealing to lollicons on purpose. Great. The VTubers that are appealing to lollicons on purpose. Um, let's just say they deserve the fans that they attract. They deserve the company of the people that they attract. Smile. Especially the ones that use Hogwarts Legacy as clout chasing material. This is gonna be a hard fight. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, but at least we have the vial. At least we got Blood Burrow. People are weird, yeah. Sentence of the year. Of the century. There's never been a better time to be weird on the like in history like with the invention of the internet weird people thrive and it's both a good and a bad thing i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that weird people can thrive but it's just it'll just be that way that move is the one i gotta watch over i need to sit in my chair i feel like i'm not paying attention today These fucking attacks, dude. Oh, yo, whoa, the immediate retaliation. Oh, load the weight. Conscious moment. All right, that was damage. Comes. Huge, 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 huge. Okay. No, 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 no. Really avoided getting blasted. Oh, that was brutal. The double come blaster. 
how do I stream or make videos from PS4? That's, um, there's literally a button for that. That is for making videos. There's a button for that. They killed the fucking select button for people like you. You're the reason why they killed the fucking select button, and yet you still need to ask. Fucking press this funny button. Video clip. There you go. I'm gonna use the blade of mercy. Older rival. Ah. Yeah, I could, I could kill this guy. I just need to really harness my my inner chi. My chi meter is a little low today, but I got this. A little bit of concentrated form. Let's call him Lawrence. Who's Lawrence? Ah. Uh, who's Lawrence? Somebody else? Oh, the fire cleric. Yeah, that guy's fucked. I remember that guy was abnormally hard when I tried to fight him. I don't even think I beat him. But I was on, like, New Game 3, so that's kind of why. Nice jump. Three eight combo. Write that down. Where am I? Okay. Come blaster, get out of there. The range is insane. So we're, if this were Elden, I could jump over that. Oh, don't fall for it again. When it rains, it pours. Come. I was gonna get brain trapped out of something. Right? I always have my favorite flavor of monster strawberry lemonade rehab. I actually bought a palette, not a palette, but like. I bought like a 30, uh, like a 24 pack of, um, why are you bowing, dude? Thank you, Blood Bro, I guess. I got like a 24 pack. It, it was way cheaper to buy in bulk. It was like a dollar and a half per can as opposed to like two dollars and like 25 cents from the gas station. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just like buy this in bulk for like a month or two. You do not have the HP or stamina for the horse. You must be familiar with how much HP or stamina you need for horses. At least I've got blood, bro. Have you retired yet? No. This is the fucking... This is gonna be a goddamn Ludwig stream. I wanna get this fucking sword. I might have to... I might go to Kanehurst if I don't beat this guy soon. What's your weapon at? Uh, not much. Six. 
Yeah, that's, that's not too bad, actually. I'm like one, I'm one chunk away from seven. My stamina bar is fine, it's just the, oh my god. It's just the fucking insane amount of attacks that deal like 80% of my life. Like that. Maybe I should be dodging to the other side. I'm dodging into the side that he has arms up. I just realized. I'm making a big mistake. Bro, he just, he never stops fucking swiveling. He never stops swiveling to stare at me. Timed as always. What do I gotta do to get a knockdown? What? Uh, not good. You can get plus eight at least. The only the first blood chunk. I'm like super early into the. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be here into this DLC right now, but I'm trying. Um, the first blood chunks I've gotten are from this DLC. I got two. I'll get him. I'll get him. Big Chunga with the three months, thank you. At least I'm profiting, Biles. That's... Thank you, blood bro. Coming here for chunks is good. How many other... How many more chunks? Um, I probably... I, I was very... I kind of ran through this area. I could probably get more chunks. I'll only look around. I want to at least get one more fucking upgrade. This weapon kind of sucks because, like, all the points into arcane I put in barely contribute to this weapon's fucking damage output. This weapon is better for pure skill playthroughs. Like, if I put all the points into arcane, into skill for this weapon, I'd be, like, doing so much more. I'd be at the cap. The soft cap. But that's okay. I, like, didn't fuck around with this area at all. Oh, yeah, Bloodstar Beast is a fucking enemy. I know where he is. In the, the cave. Right? I remember that. I'll go there. He doesn't have, like, boss HP, does he? He probably does, but by this point in the game, it's not, like, much to deal with. Look at the range on this guy! Jesus Christ, that, that weapon, dude. Oh my god, fucking... The damage that hunters do with their guns is absurd. Dog is getting involved. Dog's behind me, too. <laughs> like six chunks in this area. Oh, nice. I need just I need one more for plus seven. <laughs> What's up, day? I feel so bad for your fucking runs, dude. The last, like, two times I've raided you, your runs have, like, gotten blown up in, like, the most spectacular fucking fashion. Like, nine hours in. Uh, can, can we... Can we get a prayer in chat for Day Nava's Nocturne runs? He's been getting screwed. He's been getting killed in ways that's, like... The boss decides to hit the same person twice with their strongest attack. But it's okay, he's got a good mentality about it. But prayers in the chat. Because, like, he's had runs where he's, like, 15 minutes ahead, and then that shit happens. 
Oh, 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 oh. Bros. Oh, yeah, fuck this area. Let me just, like... Yeah, fucking sniping Mothman. He'll get it, though. I believe. I believe in the sub-12. Oh, I've been getting hella gems. I forgot. I really should try using them, putting them on. Right, these guys are free as long as they're as long as I isolate them. They're kind of dumb. Um, I forgot. I have pebbles I can throw at them. This is the fucking death looping DLC stream. It's okay. I'll do my best to get this weapon. They only get to this DLC as soon as you kill Vicar Amelia. It's kind of crazy. Like the minimum recommended level is like what 70, 75. Isn't Kanehurst completely optional? Kanehurst is so cool. Why is it optional? What do you get for doing Kanehurst? Other than, you know, some of the coolest shit in the game. More like 80 to 100. That's cool. Anyways, people beat this game at fucking blood over 4. If they're good. Oh my god, that guy's following me. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly not ready for this DLC, but I at the very least wanted to get access to Blood Bro. So I'd be fine with uh, dipping, at least once I get my blood chunks too. These enemies are awful. Okay. I don't think they can follow past that stupid thing. Yo! Hold up. Get Wi Fi anywhere you go. Hold up. Hey, more chunks. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. okay, dude. You're cool. Oh my god, he has so much health! Alright, you know. Fuck this. He has so much health, that's not happening. Alright, another chunk. There's the Bloodstar Beast. That item on the wall there, that's the, the boom hammer, right? Or some, some weapon that I don't give a fuck about. Should I go back for that, or should I just take that in? Take what I have and... Run with it. I can at least upgrade this one more time, which is good. I'll try Ludwig for a bit longer. I don't want to... This has already been like two hours and all we've done is the first area of this DLC. I don't want to linger on it more than I need to. I'll try. Oh, it's the Amidala arm. You're right. Okay, I'm not going to go back for that stupid shit. Okay, I'll take that. I need three more chunks. I'm sure I could find those, but it's whatever. 
Oh yeah, isn't there a Blood Rock in that DLC as well? So you can get two Blood Rocks in a playthrough now instead of just one? That's cool. I need to... Dump my insight. Okay. That actually would have been better to do if I had fucking pellets. Can, you buy, can I buy pellets? To the very end of the DLC? That's true. I cannot buy pellets yet. I know later on you can get it with insight, but not yet. Pellets make it so that you take more damage the higher the meter goes up, right? It's not just extra damage. You take extra damage as well. Are there any benefits to high insight? It seems like having high insight is just bad. There's just lots of down balls. Don't you have enemies like spawn out of nowhere and like you can't use pellets as well? And also you're not spending it on useful shit that you can buy with the insight store. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we can do with a plus seven weapon up. I should have dodged there if I got any more hits in. Bro, what the fuck is that? <laughs> now it's doable, good luck. First phase is really fucking something. Second phase has a lot to worry about, but it's not such a fucking shitstorm of shit going on. I think this guy tried to stream Cage too, but he's lazy right now. I can't tell. I guess if I were also desperate, I could try summoning, but I don't summon. Out of personal preference. Oops, I thought I was untransformed. Bro. I need to be more patient. I know it can really get fucking under him and blow him up with a ton of R1s, but I'm trying to do that like off of every punish. But you could not do that here. I must have like 60 fucking vials right now though, that's cool, at least. I'll be set for the rest of the playthrough after all this shit. Yeah, I need to be more patient with this fucking guy. At least I'm profiting in some way. At least they only hit me once that time. I tried my best to fucking dodge that. He whiffed. He has so much health here. That move is the fucking worst.
What is this? Some vials? Whatever. Dude, man, what am I supposed to do? What am I what am I to do? What am I to do? Can you parry him? I think if you I think you can break his pulleys or whatever. If you like go super aggro and you hit him just right. <laughs> the whirly gig eats that HP bar. What's that scale with? Yeah, breaking his limbs. I don't know how good this weapon is for that. Strength? Okay, yeah, that's not good. I could use the runes that gives me more vial slots. I could get up to like 25. You break all four of his limbs. Okay, I didn't know it required individual limbs. I'll try. Big mistake. Okay. I wonder how many hits it takes to break his limbs with this setup. I know I've done it with like an R2. That sucked. Alright, that's big. It might have been both of them? I don't know. They come blaster. Watch out for the follow-up come blaster. Yep. Yep, got There might be one more room. Might be the other side? Don't get hit by this. Okay, thank you. I don't know which limb is not broken. I thought that was the super soaker. That fucking sucked ass, dude. I had like 95% health, but that takes like 95% of my health. So not having full health just got me killed. That was really good though, that was the best attempt. How many... Oh, you know what I should try? I have a ton of these. Blood cocktails. And Molotovs. Do I have Molotovs? I don't even think I... I do. I'll try these out. So is there a way to tell which one of his limbs are broken? I was kind of... I was looking... at his legs, and some of them seemed like bloodier than the others. It's just really hard to tell, because there's just a lot here. <laughs> tell that monster to go on mute, she's overacting. She didn't mute to piss on FaceTime. The bros were in there. That... I don't think that works. I don't think that works here. That does some damage, I guess. What 
fists of the fear of fucking owl. Oh. That move. Sometimes bosses in these games will do a very annoying thing where, like, a, a, a second after their attack, they, like, just do, like, an oscillate thing. They, they like, oscillate around you, like, turn around, and they, like, just dash out of everything. Like, they turn to face you, and it's enough to make them just be so far away from you that you can't hit them anymore. You have heavy shit of me. Huge. I'm using so many vials, and I'm not even halfway into the fight. Oh. Can you outrun this? Yes, you can, okay. Alligator technique. Oh, I'm so good. Okay. I feel like I can do this, but getting through the first phase is just so fucked. About eating shit. This weapon feels difficult to use here. Not having a long range strength weapon feels pretty bad here. Yeah, I'm not allowed to use buffs because this weapon just has like 40 damage of arcane with shitty scaling. So that means you can't buff it. They must have put the arcane scaling on this weapon because it would have been too good with buffs. They had to have done that for that reason because it's a really good weapon, it's just got that liability. Yeah, you can also try the Tantris again. Okay. I hope the SMT leak isn't real because I didn't see a Maniac sub the SMT5. Yeah, I saw that leak. Um, it's probably fake. Because... The art on Flynn and Anashi is flipped, and they don't use the um, the updated art for Demi Fiend because they very, very subtly updated that Kaneko drawing of Demi Fiend, and they did, did not use the new one. I wouldn't mind though, because at least I'd get a console version of SMT4 and 4A. Knowing Atlas, they'd probably fucking port SMT5 twice. Atlas is not rational. That move is insane. See, that's the thing he does. He just like turns to face me and the legs I'm trying to hit, just, they're gone. That. Just the way that they can move so quickly out of attacks sometimes is like really insane. They just do it. They just are gone. How different this would this be if I were locked on? Look, what are you supposed to do? Huge? Was that a double? Alright, he's definitely in super sucker mode now. Watch out for that attack. I actually want to see that attack so that I can punish it. You have got to be shitting me. Ow. 
that sucks. It sucks when you die from that attack because you have, like, a tiny bit of health that isn't filled, and it's enough to get you killed. That's what my health is at right now. We're in that range where that shit happens. Maybe I could put on the 5% extra health echo thing. Echo? What am I calling an echo? Rune. I'm dodging the wrong, the wrong side. Yeah, the little smidge. There's a spoonful. It dodged. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? No! I knew it even. What do you mean? What do you mean? Nice, get cancelled. Come cancelled. Still got fucking hit by some stupid shit, but okay. How many more limbs does he have to break? Oh, it's the other attack. Yep. Thumb soaker. No. The fucking multi hit, dude. Oh, man. Oh, dang it. I feel like I'm getting better. But, ouch. We haven't even seen phase two. I'm gonna get killed by some crazy shit in phase two and it'll be all over. Somebody said five times minimum. Thank god they didn't say five times maximum. That would be like so much faith in my ability to play this game that I haven't played in like six years. What if I use the L2 instead of the R2? Get some distance every time I punish. I wish I could sprint while locked on. That would be so nice for this game. Do stop dodging that direction, dude. It gets me hit double right there. That's a strong side. Alright, this is really good right now. I got hit by the hind leg horse attack from the side. Don't you love that? Don't you love it? Charge attack inbound? How many more limbs does he have to break, man? Got 
guards. Hey, how are you supposed to dodge that, man? You've got to be shitting me. He did not land on me. He did not do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. I, I, I out-sprinted that like seven attempts ago. Just fine. Yeah, can you... can you visceral attack his first phase? It seems like... I should be getting it. Like, I've been blowing the fuck out of his limbs. I've been blowing them up so much, but, like, I'm, like, missing one of them every time. It's hard to keep track once you've done, like, three of them. At this point, I'm committed. I have to do this. But he just does that every time. Yeah, the first phase sucks because, it, like, the whole point of this fight is that the first phase he's like a crazy mindless beast, and then in the second phase he gets a sword that, like, he does shit with and he, like, knows what is happening. So it's really funny that it's like a reverse gas coin. No, I'm sure that there's going to be some stupid shit that I'm going to get hit by in the second phase, and then we're back to memeing the first phase again. But we'll see. I have just enough health to tank the charge attack, which is fine. But not enough if I don't have full HP. Which is brutal. His head bumped me in the middle of that attack and did extra damage. That guy doesn't give me two vials, that guy gives me five. That's, that's why his name is Blood Bro. Serrated damage is so stupid. <laughs> they would they literally invented serrated damage just to make the saw cleaver the best weapon in the game. And then they gave this weapon enough arcane scaling for it to not be buffable. Never dodge backwards. That sounds like a good that sounds like good advice. Always forward into him, get up his ass. I need to dodge to his right side. His left side has the arm that's up. And you, like, get hit by all of his attacks that track to that side. Also, I need to do R2 and R1 instead of going for two R2s. Bubble bit and come back. That's good advice. That's... For that exact reason, I'm not gonna do it. I'm here too early, I know that. I want to beat him anyways. He just moves so fast. That still hits me, man. I felt perfect. I felt like it was perfectly- I'm still alive. Whoa. Another heal. Oh, I knew it. Level 60 orphan. Jeez.
Yeah, I'm like level 55 right now. I know I'm here way too early. I just want the fucking Holy Moonlight Sword because this is an arcane build. It would be really cool to get this here. But I can't seem to crack the first phase right now. It can be done, though. People do this shit at level 4. Imagine if this game had, um, lock-on sprinting that comes out at frame 1, like Neo games. Where as soon as you just- you just press L3 and you're just full sprint while locked on immediately. It's like such a good movement option, like defensively and offensively. These games are more grounded for that, you don't need to do that here. How long will it take you to kill him? Oh, I don't know about, let's just say like 15 minutes because I'm like, I'm going to plan ahead and like make sure that I kill him in 15 minutes and like I'm 100% going to do that because I know in advance exactly what I'm going to do. That's how long it'll take. That's what we're going to do. Because I'm all seeing and I know, that I know when I'm going to beat him, yeah. The real question is, how much longer would I like to try fighting him? And we'll see. We'll see, I don't know. I'm sure this would be so much more manageable if I came up to- if I came back here after beating like Kanehurst or something. But I wanna at least get- I wanna at least get to phase two once or twice. That's the plan. I should have gone for the rally HP there, I was afraid. I didn't trust him. I didn't trust him, I'm dead. Yeah, if you're looking for a build that's just like a, a surefire build for this game, use the saw cleaver. It's like one of the it's literally like the one of the first weapons you can get, one of the three starting weapons. And then um Alright, I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna try this one more time. I wanna do Kanehurst. I don't wanna spend all stream fighting this guy. It's already been like two fucking hours in this DLC. At least we got access to Blood Bro right here. That's worth its weight in gold. Blood Bro. I wonder how many vials I have. I've definitely been burning through them by f trying to fight this guy, but I've also been getting a lot. Let's see it. Oh, great. great start. Okay. 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 We'll get it soon. But not now. It was worth a shot. Let's go kill Bloodboro one more time. I'd be more down to grind that out and like relearn the fight more if it weren't for the fact that like so many of those attacks are like just straight up one shots if I don't have full HP. If I have like 98% of my health and I get hit by that charge attack, I'm fucked. So I don't want to spend too much more time on that for now.
I could probably level up with these pocket souls. Hold on. Let me show you how a real souls player uses their pocket souls. This is how we did it back in the day. This is how it's supposed to be done. What do you guys think of this outfit? This is the outfit that I always use when I play this game. I've always liked this combination. Oh, that's still not enough. What Souls games have you played before? I've played and beaten all of them except for Dark Souls 1. It's like, even though it was the first one I got into, it was the first Souls game I played, I've never really gotten past the second half of Dark Souls 1. I've always, like, gotten sidetracked. And I will stream it and, like, truly beat that game one day. And it is one of my favorites. My favorites are Bloodborne, in this order, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, and Dark Souls 1. But I guess I always got sidetracked in the second half of that game. And apparently I'm not apparently I'm not missing out on much from what I've heard about the back half of that game. I don't know, I guess I've always gotten sidetracked or lost or something in the process. Let me sell some of this fucking weird ritual blood. This sells for so much. Actually, you know what, yeah. Fuck Chalice Dungeons. Oh yeah! Whoa, the doll is slumped with... I have zero insight, that makes sense. At least I don't have to skip through a dialogue now as well, that's cool. Yeah, more vitality. If the last fucking hour of gameplay has taught me anything, a little bit more vit, please. Yeah, I've played Elden Ring. I forgot about that one. What the, how the fuck did I forget about Elden Ring? Yeah. That one's good too. I'm playing that game right now with my brother. Um, seamless co-op. It's really cool. Yeah, um, the doll goes back to being inanimate at zero um, insight, just like when you first enter this place with no insight. But at least you can level up. It's really cool. You can also kill the doll to skip her dialogue, too. She, like, she just comes back to life. It's not like she dies permanently. What happens if you do this? Yeah, okay. Uh, give me a minute, I need to piss. I got a full monster coursing through my duodenum right now, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, this is, uh, we- the last thing we did in terms of main story is, um, we activated the Blood Moon, we're in that portion of the game. But now we're going to Kanehurst, which, um, we go here. It's 
doesn't really find a refer to Elden Ring as... Oh yeah, that one. That one's good too. That's what I said earlier, I was thinking about that, I was like... What a way to refer to literally like the game of the fucking decade. You missed any quest lines? Um... I lost the ability to send people to the clinic, but it's okay because I, I got the unbuilt cord from there. I don't really do quest lines a whole lot. In fact, I have enough umbilical cords to get the third one just from Murgo and get True Ending without having to do um, the prostitute's quest line for her fourth umbilical cord. We only need three. It's funny you can get four, though. It'd be cool if I did something special when you got, like, a fourth one. Isn't the thing supposed to be here? Wait a minute. Where's the carriage? Dogs. Yeah, I got the summons. I went to the clinic. Isn't it supposed to be here? Isn't it supposed to be a carriage like right here? The monument? Huh? Tower thing? There? Over here? Oh, that. I see, I see. I thought the, the carriage would just be here by default. Oh, okay, it's a trigger. I like how the camera spins around when you walk into triggers like that. Here we go. Oh, am I gonna get more chunks here? Hell yeah. It's about time. Oh yeah, did you guys see my fucking Deus Ex tweet that got 8,000 likes out of nowhere? Is this your first Bloodborne playthrough? No, I've, I've played this game pretty extensively many years ago though. It's been a long time. But I did a playthrough where I did three cycles of new game to get um, all three endings. I'm pretty familiar with this game. I remember most of everything. But it's been many, many years. So there's lots of... Uh, Hogwarts! Yo! Whoa! Hogwarts! Yeah, New Game Plus is cool because you pretty much have whatever weapon you want and you're like more or less at the soft cap for the stats that you want to prioritize. So it's cool to do that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Snowy areas are the goat in Souls games. They always do them right here. What the fuck? Alright, you know what? You go on about your day. Worm! Why oh, do you have so much health? Whoa, he's not staggering like the ones in the DLC. What the hell? That was a buff. Is this a different enemy? No, there we go. You have to hit him in the sack. I forgot about that. I keep forgetting about the gemstones that I have not been checking out. Next time I level up, I'll go check them, check those out. There we go. 
yeah, isn't um, the painted world in Dark Souls 1 pretty much what the six arch stone was supposed to be? I've seen footage of people accessing the the content that was still on the disc for that arch stone, like the cut content. I've seen people accessing that. Oh boy. Okay. Ooh. Holy shit, that's brutal. The the stagger that you get when they hit you just stops you just in your tracks. Fuck. Hold on, let me go check out my fucking... I want to see these gemstones. I need to see these gemstones. I've been fucking up. I have not changed my gemstones once this stream. And I've been getting so many from this and the DLC. It would have been cool if this game had, um... When you die, before you load, it'd be cool if it gave you an option if you wanted to respawn at the nearest lamp or the hunter's dream directly. Kind of like Elden Ring when you get to choose a stake to respawn at. How come every boss door in the game didn't have a stake of America next to it? That feels like a mistake. <laughs> Get it? Like, they, they invented that system to make runbacks better, but they only used it on tree bosses, pretty much. That seems like a missed opportunity. It'd be a cool mod. Oh, that's a big buff. Can you put fire attack on the Tantris? With a gem? There's no way you can do that, right? I guess I can try with that. do you use or use this one for Kane Harris? Okay. Alright, that's a big upgrade. Oh, that would have been great against fucking Ludwig to have those gems. Whoa. That would probably change a lot in that fight. I'll fuck with that later. Do you think a sequel to this game should have guarded with that break the theme too much? Um, it'd be cool if they did the thing they did for the DLC where you get you can get a shield for magical attacks. I think that's all you really need in the way of like having a shield in the game. It's just something for like magical attacks and projectiles only. Guns as well maybe could have that applied to it. So you can like guard hunters that are bullet shitters that just shoot you all day long. But only for that. Only for projectiles. I think a sequel for this game should have a more robust system of like spells in it instead of just hunter tools that use bullets. Is bugging out. People talk. This is like one of the franchises besides Kingdom Hearts that I can people talk all day about. Really? Don't just stagger. Oh, whatever. What the fuck? That guy got involved. I thought he was just minding his own business. What about you? Look at, the, look at that attack that they have, the fucking the swings they have is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, I hate when two of them are attacking me at the same time. Bro, bro what is this enemy? Bro, when am I getting it? Oh my god, when am I getting any hunter tools? My arcane stats not really doing much right now. Okay. 
hate them. Yeah, just run, honestly, fuck them. Get me out of here. Not worth it. They drop a lot of souls though. All these little shitter dudes, I'll kill them. Where'd you get the Augar of Abridus, like the little tentacle attack? Whoa. Isn't that in the um, university? Chest. Oh no. This is like one of the best areas in the whole game. Kanehurst is so cool. Hey, the writer Polash. I could get to the university right now, right? The Nightmare Frontier? That shouldn't be impossible to get to. Don't you have to get grabbed by the... Specifically the amygdala that's in, um... Oh, my God. The one... In the Cathedral Ward? Bro, what is this? What is going on here? Isn't there, like, a summoner that kills them all once you kill them? How good this is here. It's got fire on it. What the fuck? You weren't kidding. How can the Tantras do that, but not the goddamn Blade of Mercy? Is it overriding the electric damage or is it doing both? That's really weird. Is there a downside to this? Gargoyle? It looks like it's not applying bolt damage, but I'm getting arcane scaling when I activate this, so it's kind of like an arcane scaling fire attack. That would go hard against fucking... What's his name? Um... You know, the guy that I spent two hours dying to. Don't spam L1. Does it really kill the durability if you just like press this for fun? It's fine, I don't mind repairing it when it needs to be repaired. I've only had to do it once this playthrough. I don't use this weapon a whole lot. It's just funny to press the button for the sound. Do it the shock fire and arcane. Interesting. I wonder how much extra damage he takes from the Blade of Mercy's built in arcane. Oh my god. Oh. It's like the guy that says the word minimum, he draws the word minimum on a spectrograph. I haven't beaten Ludwig. I, tr I tried to fight him for like an hour and I could not get to phase two. But I'm assuming that by the end of Kanehurst I might be powerful enough to kill us a dumbass. Shortcut. Wait, that didn't open the door, did it? <laughs> the book. Does that open the door down there? Is there a door I have to open down there to actually like do the shortcut, or did, was that enough to just send that down there? That's such a specific question. I should probably just go check. I don't want to fuck this up. I have enough souls, so I should probably cash them in, maybe? This game doesn't tell you what your TNL is. Next level. Interesting. What's up, normal beverage drinker 35? Okay, that did activate the shortcut. I'm gonna go, um, oh, I don't wanna lose my shit. I don't remember the enemies in this area too much. I wish you could level up from the lamp. But at the same time, I respect having to go back to the hub for everything. I think it's Kino. Grab everyone. Is that worth doing? 
Is that worth getting? Is it better than the blunderbuss? Well, what is it? Very well. I don't have the hunter pistol, so it would be good to get as an alternative if I need range out of my gun. Not really. Is it faster to fire the bullet? I will, I'll get it anyways, but... You need high blood tinge. It, does it have blood tinge requirement, or does it just... Do you typically get it for the damage output if you're on a tinge build? If it has a requirement, then I'm not going to use it. Unless base damage. I'm not worried about the damage of my gun. It's just there for the utility of parrying. I'll get that. Legarius has um, a move in his fight where he like puts a sword down... And like shit starts like flying out of the air to like hit you, a bunch of projectiles all over the place. And you wanna, you can lock onto it and shoot it, but this gun doesn't have the range that the pistol and the Evelyn has, so I need 16 blood damage. 30, 30 requirement, what the fuck? Okay, never mind. Damn. No! Okay. Oh shit, I have the thing on me. That's not good. I forgot what that does, but I'm assuming it's not good. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you get a hunter tool from this guy. You get the little little skeleton emojis that you fire out of your out of your hand. I like the lantern thing that he has. That's the hunter tool I'm gonna get here. Finally I'll get something for my arcane stat besides this weapon that has shitty fucking scaling with my arcane stat. Sell the Evelyn. How much does it sell for? Probably enough for it to be worth it if you recommend it. Where is it? Apparently I missed it. I'll get it later. Oh. Hey, you know, a chunk. Let's go. Chunk. Beginning entrance to the castle. Damn, I missed it, missed it then. I'll get it on looks on my leave or something. like crazy up in here. I forgot where this goes. Oh, this just goes down. Doesn't do anything. Wait, this is a different room, isn't it? What the hell? This is not the same room. Okay. Execution on gloves. What the fuck do those do? Are those gloves or is that like an item? Oh, that's the thing. I thought you got that from the boss. Let's go. I thought you had to kill the boss for that. That did not do a lot of damage to them. They might be immune. Or whatever that is. Mash out of these, right? To escape faster. They give me out of something. They are not enjoyable to attack. What good is this tool? What does it do, really? It doesn't seem to be taking much damage to it at all. What does it do, really? Oh, here we go, here we go. Do 
Did I want to go in here? Let me get that first. Alright, where are the enemies that are going to drop down? Where are they at? No? Okay. Not a trap. Oh! Stupid bitch. What level is my arcane? 20... S scaling with arcane. And a 20 requirement. I, I'm just barely hitting the requirement for that. That's cool. He drops a good item. Oh, it's too late now. If I see him, I'll beat his ass again. Oh, the ladder. I think I can go back down there and kill him. I have to go out the window. I'll just go out this window again. S scaling. All hunter tools have S scaling, right? Because they're all arcane tools. Three bullets, though. There's like 50 damage each. It kind of sucks. No, the item! You didn't drop an item. The lighter. Is there, is there anything in there? Have I been in here? Oh, I was in here earlier. I just did not see the ladder. I'm stupid. No, the ladder was from the lever. Never mind, never mind. I had to pull that or something. Well, at least now I have an incentive to level more arcane. These weapons were discouraging me, but at least there's that and the extra item discovery is always nice. These guys get fucking destroyed. Jeez, that noise. Oh my god! What the fuck? Ow. Bitch. This is the run back to Algarius, isn't it? You have to do all this shit every time. He's like right around the corner, isn't he? Or is there a bonfire that I don't know about? There's no bonfire for this guy, is there? I remember this being the worst run back in the game. And you'd think that they would have put a lamp right there, but they did not. Is this, an, this this many runes? Is it worth runes? This many echoes? Is it worth fucking extracting with that? This place is a lot smaller than I remember. One level. I think it's not cost more. With with my pocket souls, it would. You know what? I'm out of here. With my pocket souls, I could cash in a level. I think I missed a bonfire, though. There's definitely... You definitely don't have to spawn here for Ligarius. I missed something. Or do you? Some arcane fucker, why not? We ball. Farewell, good That's you it? You have to take the vel you have to take the elevator. That sounds like a shit post. 
You are kidding me. One lamp, one lamp for the entirety of Kanehurst. Wow. Thought you'd at least have to fucking. Wow. Okay. Well, at least you can do the strategy of sending the elevator back down before you run past. Wow. One bonfire in Sen's Fortress. That's- there's actually two bonfires in Sen's Fortress. It's just that the second one is super fucking kinda hidden. What have you gone through so far? We actually haven't done much today. I got up to, um... Um, I got to Ludwig, but I haven't beaten him, and now we're in Kanehurst. That's actually all we've done today. And now we're running to Lugarius, because I guess this is what we do now. Yeah, I, I think I, I tried to fight Ludwig for about like an hour or so, but I just did not have the capital. But I, I might have the means to do it after I beat this guy. Oh no. Whoa, I almost just died. That would have been annoying. Yeah, VOD Fog, skip an hour. Again. It's one of those days. Oh, uh, Runners, I have a technical question. I put a fire damage thing on my Tantris, and now my Tantris does fire damage when transformed. Is it overriding the bolt damage with fire damage with arcane scaling? Do I have a fire Tantris now because of that? Or what's what's happening in this equation? Because it's dealing fire damage. Is it doing both or is it just one? You get both. Whoa. That's cool. That's exciting. Another reason why I want to do Ludwig early is because I should be able to get access to the DLC Hunter tools pretty easily after I kill Ludwig too. I know you can get the, the Snot Blaster, as well as, um, some other shit that I forgot about. What, where, where's the Tiny Tantras? How the fuck can I get the Tiny Tantras? I want the Tiny Tantras. Great start. This guy's a zoner. Can't wait for the Bloodborne fighting game. Isn't this guy super parryable? Oh. Skull emoji. This guy's cool. Don't get hit by this shit. I will die if I get hit by that one more time. He also staggers quite a bit, too. he's got a little health. I can cancel that, too. Oh! Ain't no way. Nice. 1k damage, okay. I know he's got a face too. He's, it seems like he's in it. I'm fucking up all my piercing. Nice. Please stop playing from that grandpa, he's getting too strong.
Oh, he's super parryable. And by the slope, we'll fuck things up, so we gotta be careful. Oh, he's super parryable. Yeah, look at the healing, dude. I'm running out of bullets. I keep running out because I'm fucking up with everything. Okay. Not good. Bro, he did not like that one bit. Oh, no, what? I did the ball. Oh. Two things. One. Oh, my. I completely forgot about... The concept of edges in this fight, and two, I couldn't even, I couldn't even see them. I couldn't even see that that was, look at my, look, bro, I have no bullets left, fuck. It's fine, I'll just press the blood button. It's cool that you can lock onto the sword when he does the sword attack where he like puts the sword in the ground. It's cool that you can lock onto it and shoot it. I rallied off of it. I have to kill that fucker every time or else I'm just gonna get knocked off, right? Dude's blowing me. You think parrying the bosses in this game is cheese or skill? It's definitely cheese, it's just really fucking good. Maybe a little better than the devs intended. Or maybe, you know, better than they might have should have made it. What am I saying? I don't think it's cheese, it's just really fucking good. So is the saw cleaver. So is a lot of other things about this game that you can just abuse. You know, I think if they made a Bloodborne 2, it would be really good, at least in the gameplay department. Apply some of the more modern sensibilities. Funny saying that this game isn't modern, but... Apply some of the more modern sensibilities that they've picked up since this game came out, and it would be so good. Super lean about it. Oh fuck, I'm wasting my blood points, dude. Why am I reacting to that? Alright, watch out for the fucking edge this time, dude. Why am I reacting to that move in particular? All his fastest attacks are the ones that are just skull emojis. Can you throw him out of the arena with that? There's no way it's allowed, right? There's no way he would fall. That's so lame. That'd be so cool if he could do that. Stop reacting to that. What is he doing? That seems like something I should not be close to. You can parry it. You can parry so much. It's so funny when you can parry in the middle of a dude's strings. You just like shoot randomly into the string and they just go down. It's really cool. Let's not shoot so randomly now. Ugh. 
Oh. I wanted to hit that to save the bullet, but... Okay, thank God. I didn't... Okay, I hit him like one time there. I was pissed. That sucked. I need a blood bullet. Hold up. Time out, time out. Hit the thing! It's right there. Come on, man. That sucked. That fucking sucked. I should've just shot it. No, oh, I thought I... Fuck. I'm throwing, I'm throwing. I'm not gonna get that, am I? Fuck. That sucks. right now. Okay. Gotta be more careful. Dude, the perfect move to stop the jump attack. I am, like, fucking stuck right now. This is so rough. He's dead. Alright, that was really fucking sloppy, but I'll take it. I would have gotten the first drive, but didn't fucking walk off the edge. Nice, 30k. I didn't get the hat, did I? Fuck the hat, I don't care about that. Oh, there is the hat. I'm looking fucking Burger King oh, crown. Hey. May I please have a water? Please. The crown is for activating this area. You need to wear it for this event to happen. I've honestly forgot what this game is supposed to look like at 1080p. I've gotten so used to the 720p that it doesn't even bother me. Like, at first I noticed it and made everything look pretty shitty, but now I like, don't even remember what the game's supposed to look like at 1080p. It's just fucking 60 FPS. Can you believe it? I claim no subjects, but here lieth our throne. Kneel for us, or get thee gone. Get thee gone. Do you get anything for joining this? I kind of don't care. I guess I can come back later if it does end up being important. I don't think it is, though. It's like some covenant. I'm already in one, I'm in the DLC one, technically, but I'm not going to get anything out of that because I'm offline. I'll come back later. PvP? Oh, these guys are the, um, that's the invader coming in, isn't it? Yeah, whatever, who cares. Power of one my fucking vitality right now. Farewell, Cranking that. May you That's like not enough now, no, is it? It might be. Very well. I have to sell something. Yeah, I have to sell for 2k. It's fine. Farewell. I think I have all the endurance I need. Stamina is surprisingly free in this game. As you can sell chalice items if you don't plan on doing them much, which I don't. Well, what is it? Very well, let me. Oh, Kanehurst stuff. Right, you get the badge for that. 
Can you get that with insight, or do you have to buy it? Or does she just give it to you outright? I have not beaten Ludwig yet, no. It's still... Pending. I might just be able to do it now, though. Farewell, may you. Yeah, I think I'm done leveling Endurance, so I'm at, like, what, 20? I think Endurance is done, honestly. It's surprisingly cheap. Still don't have the chunks I need. Like, two away, though. I'm sure I'll get them soon. See what kind of new gems I have, if anything. May I please have a water? Please. I guess if I'm fighting Ludwig, I don't need the, the Echoes rune. Give me the HP. 5% all day. This one's not going to be helpful either. I'm going to get like one or two fucking visceral attacks on him. Give me the runes. Uh, vials. I have no bullets, but that's okay. I'll join this, see whatever I get out of it. Oh yeah, don't you have to like bow or some stupid shit. Oh, Neil. Do I have that one? Icon on the floor. Oh, you just like press a button? There are a lot of candles. They're cool. Oh. Visitor. Okay. Moon scented hunter. I am Annalise, <laughs> ruler of the vile bloods. Yet our people what is it thou did? Well, well, an odd hunter thou. We've tired share yeah, yeah, yeah. in our if thou I privy. Very drink feel the spreading corruption burn. <laughs> now we too. Thank you for your piss. Are there any downsides to joining multiple covenants in this game? Nope. It'd be cool if they started to like invade you. This game doesn't have NPC red phantoms, doesn't it? That kind of sucks. Cool if it did. Continuous heal near death. You know what? Sure, why not? It's better than the one I'm using, which is useless. Cool. Um, let's go. Let's um, try fighting Larry again. Why not? Got a lot more health than I did. Now we go. That was a quick little Kanehurst expedition. No bolts, but no need for them here. You know what I should do? I should try finding um, another set of um, chunks. Get this shit to plus eight. I'm gonna go on a little expedition. There's probably one of those uh, little running dudes that I haven't found. Wow, that guy's pissed. This area is a mess.
Whoa! He appeared. Holy shit. I'm alive. Oh yeah, I got a lot more health in earlier, it seems. I I went to the Blood Star Beast area. The only thing I didn't get there was the weapon. I died before getting the weapon, but I got everything else. I think. I hope. I don't want to go there again. Sixty FPS mod been stable. Yeah, for the most part, it has some dips and uh, not even really stutters. Stutters don't feel like stutters when you're at like fifty-five FPS. Like it's not sixty right now. You can kind of see, but like it's so negligible. It's just better. This is the best case scenario because I'm on a PS4 Pro with boost mode on. Oh yeah, what's... where is the world gig saw? There are a lot of items I ran past because I just could not fight them earlier. I should be in better shape now to do, like, anything. Okay, one of the gun guys is dead, so that's fine. Holy shit, the double shot. Come on, man. Give me a break. Can I get him to fight those fucking bug dudes? Fight each other. They're pissed off. They're not fighting each other. Okay, that's funny. back to the lantern respawned in go down the stairs is it closer than I thought hold on Go to the crows. That's the saw. Okay. I'm here for chunks. Are there any chunks around here? I'm not trying to get the world big saw. I'm just trying to get chunks. I probably don't even have the strength requirement. chunks over here? Maybe that. Hold on. How do I get up there? How do I get back there? Tightrope? Can't wait to get shot off of that. You probably have to fall on that. Let me clear out this area. Finally put these guys or something. I need to parry that guy if I want to kill him. Bro, oh, there are so many enemies that get aggroed here, dude. I could have parried that. I'm 
buggy. Wait, I can go back. Where does this go? Uh, just a wall. At least the pros aren't gonna get involved, I think. That's not a parry? What? Thank you. Jesus. Nice. Fucking 1200. Oh, what's this? It's nothing. That's cool. At least they're all dead. Who's making that noise? You sounded a lot closer than you actually were. Oh, I see. Oh, it's so easy. Just do that. Why am I... How did I see that? That was some fucking shirt that I don't give a fuck about. And that's the world you saw. I'm just here for chunks. I don't need any of this. I'm not gonna find any more chunks, aren't I? There's probably some somewhere that I don't know. I'm surprised I didn't get more chunks in Kanehurst. Maybe I missed something. I probably did. Maybe the route to the saw has some stuff leading up to it. I don't know how to get there. Give this a whirl. Fuck it. Much has changed, and by that I mean nothing. I wonder how good the the gloves would be here. Probably not very. That's damage, hold up. Tantris moment. Fire Tantris. Alright, we're in there. It's all over this hole. But I mean, voice. I take much less damage here too because of just the passive defense of leveling up. Seems better. Already. We can do this. Fire Tantris will carry. That still fucking hurts, though. Ain't no two ways about that attack. Tantris has been like the secret MVP of this playthrough. When I need it the most, it does a lot. Thank you, blood bro. Do I have oui. oil? Oui. Oil plus fire tantris, let's see it. Oh, we 
Yes, it's still for like one second, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Ten, bro. Every two seconds today, bro. I can do this. It's just the first phase. Kind of fucking sucks. You have to tip toe around it, and then you get cum blasted anyways. is passively backdashing out of like everything I try to do right now is getting the conniptions. They've been doing that since like this game, honestly, in Souls games, they just like turn to face you and big enemies like this with small fucking legs, the the thing you're trying to hit is just gone within like a second. And you can't lock on sprint. Or you can, but you have to be facing the target directly. So it kinda sucks. You have to unlock. Hope for the best. Seven thirty one for a full charge. Okay, I'll do that more often. Oh, dude, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? That went from so good to fucking dead within like two seconds. Yeah, this weapon is it stays electrified for like seven seconds. My durability at 45. I'll fix that in a couple more attempts, I guess. Nice little. It's gotta have a downside for having a free fucking buff durability and like low, um, low buff time. Makes up for the fact that it's just free bolt paper. It's gotta have something.
got a little greedy there on my stamina. Oh, maybe. How did that hit me? Sprint, sprint, what are you doing? What the fuck just happened? I just fucking pulled circle for seven seconds and then maybe you'll start running at a moderate jog. Oh, 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 oh. Sprinting, dude. Hold down circle for like two seconds and then maybe you'll start to move at full speed eventually. I had stamina, maybe? It's just like, I think I was just coming out of a roll so I fucked up the... The, um, the buffer? I don't know. Something... I knew it in advance that my sprint was gonna get fucked up. I felt it. I've played these games long enough to know when the sprint's not gonna fucking kick in. If you've, like, done, like, a weird thing. I don't know what happened. But that should've been free. I should've gotten, like, insane damage off of that. You know what I also have? Oh! Why do you take so much damage when you're falling to the ground? Clap minus two vials right there. That's fine. This, this time just could get upgraded. I just realized it's at like three, I think. I wanted to save the stones or something else, but I might just use them here. How are you supposed to dodge that? I thought I was, like, just on time. Do you think these bosses are designed to be... Like, do you think it's possible to dodge them, like, everything they do while locked on. Do you think you can do that properly? I don't know how much longer I want to try fighting this guy again. I thought that this would be a wash. Yes? No? It kind of reminds me of Cage 3 Remind. Like, they must have intended you to be able to do it with aerial dodge turned on. I just wonder to what degree unlocked, like running around and like looking at the boss with your right stick manually. I wonder to what degree that. What the fuck? I wonder to what degree that is um, intent intended. You know. The Ludwig stream. It's worth a shot. This weapon is pretty good for a micro and build. I'm gonna block on more. What weapon are risk? Is that 20 already? Oh, this is much better with the lock on, honestly. At least what I'm doing right now. Oh, there goes my fucking head. Gun got turned off and threw me off there. He's gonna start super soaking the arena right now. Oh, 
Okay, that's enough of that. I'm not, I'm not beating this guy right now. If that's gonna kill me so easily, no way. Ain't no way. Let me just go beat Blood Bros' ass real quick, and then I haven't even done um the Yeah Girl Village. Let's go, God. Let's go take out our frustrations on the fucking One Reborn. Speaking of goop enemies, let's, let's do it. I've got a bone to pick. Oh, great. I love not being able to pick that up through the wall. You know what? Fuck the vials. We're going. We'll do it live. Yeah, I probably should have done that area before trying to fight this guy. I got a little ahead of myself. I forgot how crazy he was. But it was worth a shot. This place probably has hella chunks. Ain't no way. See, now that I've done all that shit, these guys, I, it's gonna be like so easy to deal with. The training weights have been removed. These guys are extra satisfying to kill because they're the they're the blood summoned enemies, so they like explode every time you kill them. But they also respawn. Unless you find the summoner or something. Consciousness here? I don't remember that. I thought that was a DLC item. Where's the summon? Good. It's not DLC? Whoa. I thought that was DLC. I must be wrong. I must have just never gotten it. I must have never known about it until the DLC came out. That, that has to be it. What are you doing down there? Oh, no, I see he's dropping. Off of that. Does that combo ever end? Whoa. Get out of here. What the hell is that? Oh, I forgot I don't have my, um... My field exploration runes on. I don't have the extra rune, extra souls and visceral attack HP. I should put that on later. Doesn't matter too much. I hope it's good with my current level of arcane. Hey, what the fuck? It's like in plain daylight. What the hell? How did I not know about that? I am alive. I shouldn't be. After fucking up like that, but you know what? Oh, how do I? How do you fucking carry you? How do you do it? There you go. So easy.
Where's that? Where you at? Hello? Did I scroll past it? I did. Probably twice. Are you stupid? I don't see that. Oh, you need 25. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. You gotta drop down in there or something. 25. How much does it cost? Six bullets. Oh, that's good. Hunter tools might just be only for pure arcane builds, honestly. Imagine if all my points in the skill were on arcane instead. What weapons would you get to use? I guess the Tantris would go hard if you had the strength requirement. Please explode. They're not exploding? What the hell? There's a different summoner? Uh oh. Maybe going in this room was not a good idea. I save orphan for like last. Honestly, I'm not too. I'm not looking too forward to fighting that guy. I remember fighting him the first time around on like new game three. It was fucked. Even at like a level like 160 or whatever. It was uh something. Hey, Chunk. One more of those, and I think I'm in good shape. Oh, it's the laser! What the fuck? Where am I able to stand? I'm certainly not there. Alright, you know what? I'm fucked. It's over. It's all over. We're so back. I'll go back for that item. I just wanted to get that lamp. That's not enough. Farewell, good hunt. Welcome. What, what even is that item? Is it worth it? Very well lit. Yes. 
Upper Cathedral. Okay, that's that's huge. That is huge. Maybe I should have gone to the other point. I have to run through the lasers again, but whatever. We ball. You can outrun that easily. That's pretty forgiving. I thought that would just blow everything up like Demon Souls. That's good to know. Not only is it delayed, but it is very precise. Like none of those enemies died either. Oh, it's up there. Thank God you can knock them out of the way by dodge rolling. That's like so convenient. Do, do other Souls games have enemies that stagger when you roll into them? That feels. Unusual. Feels like it's unprecedented. Yeah, maybe like the weakest enemies in Dark Souls 1, maybe, I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, I, that did not go where I thought it would. I'm trying to like mentally map out this area to understand how I drop down there. Let me get these fuckers out of my way so they don't. Okay, now I can think. No, this isn't fucking Elden Ring, you can't just do that. What game do you think this is? This just goes back, doesn't it? down here? I think I have. I'm drawing a blank here. Hold on. Let me clear this area out just so I can look up there. on that parry right there. Oh! Yeah, no, they get thrown back. I'm just trying to... Just trying to look up there for like one second. I don't remember how you're supposed to get to that partition. You gotta be able to just drop down. I'm, I'm probably just not seeing the drop down. What I've been looking for, though. That's why I tried jumping over this. Like this fucking Elden Ring, you just like jump down. I wonder what this game's level design would be like if it were made with an Elden Ring jump. 
it's crazy that the first Souls game with a actual jump, with an actual jump button that isn't a meme was also like the biggest Souls game. Like you would have thought that they would have started small with a jump button, but no, they, I guess second row counts for that. I am drawing a blank, and because these enemies never fucking go away, I can't think of how to get this area. How do I get down there? Between fucking laser amygdala and the respawning enemies, I don't have a moment's peace to fucking look through this area to find the way to get there, so... How do I get... how do I get there? Why Dark Souls 3 that shitty leap? You mean this? That's like... that's the old jump button. That's the classic. Mini leap. It's been there since, um... Dark Souls 1. Demon Souls didn't have it. The Demon Souls had, like, vaulting over, like, limited ledges. There are some falling puzzles, but nothing that really requires a run jump all that much. I don't even think it's needed at all. I feel dumb, how'd you get down there? Is it like... Where's that? There's an elevator at the start of the area, and I have not gotten to the other side of it. I think I'm forgetting about a whole section of this place. Maybe I have to go forward? No. Wait! Haven't I been in here? Oh, this is, yeah, this is just this way. So I thought I was up there. I thought I was up there for a second. I was just down here again. Useless fucking area. It's a hole in the fence. Fence. I've been looking for something like that. You just, like, fall down. <laughs> this whole stream has been a VOD frog skip an hour stream. This is funny. Gotta have them eventually. Before the lasers? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's not this, is it? No. You make that noise in real life. You'd think it'd be right here. Up the stairs. These stairs? There are a lot of stairs. Is it in the laser area? Like right- Oh, oh my god. See, I would have looked here if this area weren't fucking panic-inducing with like all the shit that happens. All right, we found it. All on my, all on my own. Not really. Between the respawning enemies and the fucking lasers, I could not get a moment's peace. Why don't you die? I didn't even know he had that attack. Oh, really? You know what? Whatever. Think of the vials. Alright, I'll break the cathedral. Final. I can't be bothered to walk across this area again, so I'm gonna use a goddamn fucking thing, my bob. I only have two of these left. Uh, yeah, you know. What? I'm not going over those lasers again. Fuck that. I have to piss up here, back. Am I safe here? Yeah, I'm safe here.
This game has such nice ambient sounds in it. It's unfucking paralleled. How do they do it? These devs use stock sound effects all day long and they're better than like every other developer. Despite the guy shooting at you, you can get this guy. I fucked up. I got shot and then I like pushed forward too hard. I had no bullets, I forgot. One fucking bullet thing. Forgot I've got like 400 vials, but I have like two bullets. Zero now. Yeah, you parry by shooting in this game, but you need bullets to do it. I don't have any right now. Can you get shot through him? At 100%, you can. I missed! Shooting Andy. I need some bullets too. He's one shoot. No bullets? Okay. That's the shirt. Eight vials, alright. That's cool. Oh nice, they can expect to the fucking this area. Where's the lamp? Oh this is a different area. I thought this was the the other the other identical room that looks like this. Oh this guy has the cum spur, doesn't he? Holy shit, he does damage, right? You know what? This area runs pretty bad. Two of them. What's going on in here? Three of them? What is this room? Is this area clear? It is except for the fucking... Hold on. This guy needs to go. Is this like the de Is this like the Bloodborne version of the Demon Souls room with the three red phantoms? In like 1-4 one, or 1-5? One, one, I think it's 1-5. Wait. Is it cannon? What the hell did I just get shot by? Oh! There's a whip. That's not a parry. Okay, they don't have a billion health, which is nice. Get in there, get up his ass. This. This isn't fun. Oh, that sucks ass. 
I forgot about these guys entirely. This area is rough. What the fuck? Fucking three stooges over here, dude. What are you gonna do? That's the downfall of this weapon, is having to deal with um, mobs like this. If I had something like a fucking Holy Moon Knight sword or the, the basic leather sword, it would be a lot better at keeping them at bay. They better not follow me. They probably will. They killed the sack people. Oh, they broke my lamp! They broke my fucking lamp, dude! Alright, you know what? They broke my fucking lamp. Who are you? Bro is doing an infinite combo on me. Can we get to a place that has more than 40 FPS? I got a hard knockdown there. Wow. This is brutal. There's gotta be something I can do to tip the scales. Are you shitting me? They fight each other. Here are what the Alright. Okay, that guy eats shit. That's good to know. Weapon is fucking great in a 1v1 situation, that's for sure. She blood on my born until I deal to Winter's expansion. They broke my fucking lamp, dude. Fuck these guys. Oh, whoa, where did you just come from? That guy just manifested. Alright, you know what? This is about to get real tricky here. Check this shit out. called in an assist. One over here. He can do that. That was a hundred percent, dude. Oh, here's why I died. I was dodging. He did a charge attack, and I took counterattack damage. Or was it called stability damage, technically? I took extra damage there because Bloodborne. Right? That's when that kicks in. If you fuck up your dodge really badly like that, you just take double damage. You know, I bet I could sneak around and, like... This goes up to the place over there. I can avoid these guys for now. This area is fucked. Where does this go? I want to see the Rhyme back. I'll, 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 I'll deal with them. I just want to fucking level up. And, like. What is this? Oh, this goes back to this. Okay. This goes back to the other lamp. I need to level up and buy bullets. That's what I need to do. Isn't there like a secret thing in this ladder? This lift? Bloodborne lift, yep. I love the secret Bloodborne elevators. Where the fuck does this go? Oh my god. 
Oh, what is this? The bath? Gamer girl bath water. Well, go somewhere. <gasps> wow, they wow, have it. Walkie they have it. slush. Walkie slush. That does kind of look like walkie slush, doesn't it? Souls. Wow, women. Wow. Women. Wow, that guy dropped four K. What the hell? Money, finally, for my fucking efforts, dude. Peace. Yeah, you take so much fucking damage if you get hit um, while, like, either attacking or coming out of a dodge. That's a grab. No, it's not a grab. It's just a flail a million times attack. That's a grab, I think. Kin Hunter gem? Oh, there's so many of these goop carriages, dude. What the hell is going on in Detroit? Okay. I do a show of damage here though, which is good. Getting hella souls, I should be able to level up twice and then buy some bullets. Can't I open up like a door here? Or did I do that already? Oh, so I'm free? He's good. I have the house to myself right now, he's just sleeping. I have so many unused madman's knowledges. I don't have anything in the insight story that's like worth spending much on. It'd be nice if I could start getting beast blood pellets from there. Then I would just always stock up on those. This weapon is good for that buff because he just hit a bunch of times. He missed lots of chunks. I believe it. I'm not done exploring this place anyways. Summon, fuck summons. It's just blood chunks from now until uh, the blood rock, right? For the next couple upgrade tiers. Ooh. It goes um, stones, twin stones, chunks, and then rock. See if I can. Who are you? Oh, there aren't any pigs here because I don't have um, high insight, right? Don't the pigs show up if you have high insight? And this message like baits you into getting hit by a pig or something? Or is that pre moon only when that happens?
Do the item drops change here when the blood moon happens? Like, do, do more things spawn? It has to be, right? It's like a whole new area post blood moon. What is that that I hear? I'm like inside that enemy. What the hell? There's two of them. What's happening? Unlock the camera, please. Okay. That could stagger utility. That kept them locked down for a second. They appreciated that. Yeah, welcome to Bloodborne at an acceptable frame rate. It is, like, so fucking nice, dude. I can't believe it. I still can't believe what I'm looking at. Feels unreal. I didn't get hit, like, once in the middle of all that. That's the funniest part about what just happened there. Uh, speaking of getting hit. Oh, nice chunk. Just shut my turn. Where's that lift go? Bitch! Don't they all get aggro if you just hit one of them? Yeah, they all get crazy if you just attack one of them. I gotta make it count. Maybe I can get him hit by the fire here. I'm just afraid of getting fucking comboed. Like they both start attacking perfectly at the same time. That just happened last time. Where are you going? Not a lot of them over here, huh? Stupid bitch. Hey, blood dregs. I can turn those in, can't I? Can't I? How the fuck do I... You know what? Skull emoji. You got combos, huh? Yeah, look at the extra damage I took there. Crazy. Now he's gonna do fucking charge attacks out of nowhere. Check this out. Can't wait to get one shot again. Bitch. Damn! He lives. Really? Twenty bullets? Holy shit, that was worth it. What the hell? Look how many souls I have. Finally. 
finally doing well in this stretch of the game. We've been getting owned all day today. The fortune is now on our side. Stupid bitch! Ain't no way. That guy ate shit to that, like, twice in a row. That's what you get for breaking my fucking lamp, dude. Fuck these guys. There are a lot of weapons I've never touched, like the stake driver, and like half of the DLC, most of the DLC weapons, honestly. Emoji. Look at how much money I have. Ooh, so, so many chunks, dude. I'm gonna be able to get this shit to plus nine easily. Let's go. Ooh, good thing I didn't take one more step forward. Ooh, that would have been bad. Wow, I forgot where this was. Holy shit. I almost just got carried away. Oh, I would've been fine. I would've had my, uh, bold mark to get out of there with. That was a boss fight that I almost just stepped into. That I probably would've been able to clobber pretty easily at this point. But, um... Let's we'll see where that elevator goes. Probably goes back to the start or something. We're finished. That guy's like the, it's all over meme. We're finished. You'll pay, bureaucrat. Is that what they say? Do they say bureaucrat? When they're like, you'll pay. That's not what they say, is it? I must live. Let's see where this goes. There's a secret drop down back there. Go oh, up. Well, I guess we're gonna find out what it is now. Wait, I've been here already, haven't I? That's where the gamer girl bathwater was. I can't drop down safely, can I? Where? Oh, I can. I forgot about this. Disappeared? What the fuck was that? That was weird. That got crazy. Alright, I just want to use the lamp without using my fucking bold mark. I've got one left, and that needs to be for emergencies only right now. There we go. Huge payout. Probably like three to four levels and a lot of bullets. And an upgrade. Got like everything here. Very good. And some more gems too, I wonder. Blood team scaling. Reduce stamina cost by 1%. This raises it to S scaling, technically. Look, it raises it just enough to put it into S, but that's like... Not worth removing whatever the hell is just raising the damage by like... 16% outright. 16.4.
Look at how much blunt damage is being amplified on this weapon. It's interesting. Bolt attack up. Okay, so when I have the fire taunters like this, the fire is replacing the bolt. So I'm just getting fire when I L1 it. Fire damage plus the arcane scaling caused by the L1. Or isn't it both? Yeah. I might just stick with both. I could increase the bolt damage, but... It seems like being able to get the best of both worlds is better. I don't know. Really weird. I never thought about that before. I need one more chunk. Bro, it's all over. How does that even happen? Sheesh! Damn. So close. It's Jover. I'm sure I'll find it in like a second. I just wish I could have done it now. I can just level up. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let. I wonder what I should get my skill to. Maybe like stop at thirty. Miss chunks ex at the bath exit. Ooh. I know how to get there. Could probably nab that real quick and then upgrade my shit finally. 25 vitality seems alright for now. I just don't know if I want more arcane or skill. Arcane kinda is whatever. Aside from the item discovery and potential for, um,. The Tantrus and the uh, Moonlight Greatsword. Soft cap 40. That sounds about right. I raised my arcane. I want to get some more. You know what? Actually, 25 arcane. I want to use the tiny Tantrus. Farewell, good mate. I still like having item discovery. It's nice. Go get that chunk real quick. Where would I spawn for that? Let's go here. Now that I have the lift, I can get to the bath pretty easily. Five for soft, fifty for hard, except endurance and arc, which is forty, and ninety-nine for arc. Why is what do you mean by um ninety-nine for arc? That's interesting. How does that work exactly? So that does that mean that whoa, I got the chunk. Alright, going back. Um So does that mean that any weapon with skill scaling will just keep going up to ninety-nine, or is that does that only apply to the item discovery and or um Yeah, item discovery. Keeps going. Tools and item discovery, that's cool. Well, there's the chunk. There's just one right there. Thank god. Very good. Now I just need the blood rock, which I, I know where it is, but it's not gonna be for a minute. It's in fucking Nightmare Immensus, so you gotta drop the dude. 
the eyeball dude. What a game. This is, this is a video game right here. Someone explain to me how fucking B scaling is plus 26, dude. What is what is that? Is arcane just like stupid when it comes to scaling? Or is it just this weapon? Don't explain that to me. 26 is B scaling? How does that work? Letters will lie all the time. Fuck. What does this do? Skill scaling? Somehow that's less damage. I can't really get anything better out of this other than just raw attack up. Unfortunately. It would be cool if I did some cooler effects on that, but I don't. Bro, I burned through my vial supply that I got from the blood bro. That's okay. I'll just go um, knock on his door real quick. The upside to spending all that time in the DLC earlier is that we can just go here now. Ring this guy's bell real quick. Cleaver? What's, what's the call cleaver? Is that like a funny word for this weapon? Where's the... There it is. Bird up. I wouldn't call this full arcane build, it's 50-50 between skill and arcane. I'd be fucked if I were pulling- if I, if I were using this weapon with full arcane, I'd be fucked. I don't use a saw cleaver. I don't have it. Um, that, that weapon is banned in my playthroughs. Fuck that weapon. It's too good and too plain at the same time. I'm a hater. I should- I wonder, I don't know, I, d I think I did something with my hard drive in my PS4 Pro. I don't, I may have put an SSD in this, I don't know. I know I did something weird with my PS4 Pro. Like, it doesn't have the hard drive backplate. It might have an SSD in there, I don't know. Yeah, you could always kill a guy through the wall and pick up his shit depending on what attack you do. I'll go, uh, beat his ass. Two more times, just so I don't have to worry about this for a while. Why was I walking back? I, actually, that's fine because I'm not going to do that again. It's better to just warp. Wood vial. Alright, 2020. Let's go kill the um, big dude. The second most powerful weapon? I don't know. All I know is that the saw cleaver is one of the best. I don't think it's the best, technically. It's just like the earliest. You can just get it the earliest and that kind of bumps it up the tier lists. But they're all good. That's a thing. There aren't necessarily just bad weapons. What's the worst weapon? That's a better question. Also, this was not the spawn point to use, but whatever. I'll deal with it. You just have to live with it now. Where 
whirly gig saw is good. Yeah, there is crazy shit you can do with it. From what I've heard. It's the first weapon that has the fucking hold R, the hold R1, just beam everything. Dreaded cane. It, that might be, yeah. I could think, I could see that being one of the not so good ones. I have not killed Ludwig yet. I've been getting owned by Ludwig all day. Maybe at the end of the stream I'll pull it off. But... Not yet. Probably a strength weapon. Is there anything... Particularly bad about strength weapons in this game? I know you don't two ham, so you don't get the extra 50% that you would normally get in a normal Souls game. It's not the Beast Cutter, is it? Beast Cutter owns, what the hell? You don't get bonus damage for Viscerals? Yeah, that seems bad. But that's just a... That's a build issue. Not a weapon issue. The goop. Jeez. I'm going to do a beast cutter playthrough. 100%. I'll get him. Whoa, that guy tried to shit on me, frame one. This guy's a rap god. Tantris might own here with the fire on it. Is he with the fire? It seems like he has goop enemies. Uh oh. What? Nice miss. This boss is like a really scuffed fucking tower knight. Is that his name? In Demon Soul. I don't know the lore though. Can I drop on his ass? Who's, who's ringing that bell? Oh, how did I miss you? Okay. Oh, the damage. Right, you know what? Worth. Too bad I don't have any pellets right now. What is going on? Oh, I knew. I knew I was gonna get shit on eventually by something random like that. Should have watched out. I just want to see how far I could take that. Where's this gonna spawn me? I need to pick a different spawn point for this run back. I should have had full health if I was gonna go aggro like that. What's the best run back for this guy? Is it spawning isn't it teleporting with the bath yeah i just narrowly avoided the acid they tried to like shit on me from above i saw that i was like well it missed what's the best strategy for running back here it's got to be taking the bath with a lift i think or you know the best run back is just killing them once that would be swell I remember day one Bloodborne posts on the Bloodborne subreddit when this game first came out. People were like, oh, tips on how to deal with the long load times. And then the the, the thread was, uh, spawn in once and don't die. Cool bug facts. Yeah, I remember this round, but...
in the bath. They couldn't have just put a lamp here instead of a teleporter. That seems like a mistake. That's not that much better. Animation canceled the fucking vial. Yeah, whatever it is. Do the NPCs up here do anything but shoot at you? Do they like heal the boss or anything? They drop all the souls, which is nice. Souls. Yeah, I think I thought I remember that they would heal. Yeah, we'll get the shooting at the boss. As will shoot you too, which sucks. Gritty this time. Well, I have more stamina. Come in. Okay. I thought I was gonna get hit by a random flail moment. Like right now. I need to do a thing where he goops the whole arena. I'm just trying to kill him before that happens. Be nice. Okay. Yo! Yo, Chris! With the raid, thank you very much. I didn't see what you were doing, but I hope it was not awful. Like Saints Row Reboot. I thought you were doing that a while ago. Welcome to Bloodborne at 60 FPS. Can you believe it? Please don't fucking die now. Oh, he didn't even do his most annoying attacks. He didn't do the whole- Oh my god, that's so loud. What the fuck? Saints Row 4. Or the first one, Uno. He already played 4. Alright, he started with 2, didn't he? I remember watching a friend of mine play Saints Row 1 and he like was convinced he was soft locked at a certain point yeah too bad he didn't have any pellets there that would have owned that was a lot easier than I remember that fight being but I guess when I first played this game I didn't know how min maxing worked I haven't beat Pearl actually. I um was actually just about to do that. Very well. Let me stand close. I should have tried the tiny tantras on that guy. I forgot I had it. Farewell, good hunt. I can get another level up with a Did I already burn through my vials? Get the 30 vitality, it seems necessary. Yeah, I'll turn in those dregs. Farewell, good. Yeah, three of them. Should be worth something. Bass boosted, fart reverb, incorrect buzzer sound effect. I need to make the um the loud incorrect buzzer sound effect like a channel point reward or something. That'd be really funny. Aaron, vile blood or no. 
bend the knee. What did I do? Do I do this every time? Closest of kin, bearer of our blood. I welcome thee. What is thy wish? Thy gift pleases us. Let this reward be thine. Indulge thyself in our tainted blood. <laughs> Give me your piss, my queen. What? What? I just got a pose for that? For the honor of Kanehurst. That's all you get? You get a pose? For three dregs? Alright. I even I need bum ass insight, dude. Whatever. Alright, let's go kill him, Dark Beast. I forgot about that boss. Where's this go? Isn't the all oh right? The lamp is broken forever now. It should be grayed out at least. Come on, man. Isn't it underneath the goal? Like when you go inside? Yeah, I remember. I think. Plaza is close. Oh shit. I remember I... Isn't it like under here? I forgot. Isn't it down here? Like a hole in the wall or something? Or am I misremembering? It is. Good. hitbox sucks because he's like his center of mass is just in the air at all times or some weird shit also bolt i guess oh and that kind of owns let's check this out oh okay okay I think I figured out a strategy. It's the most use I've ever got out of this item ever. I didn't know you could do that. Cool. Yeah, he had a head weakness. You could lock onto his head there and probably get that effect out of shooting him too. I forgot all about the fight. That was cool. I hit him with a skull emoji. Yeah, that guy just got owned. That item worked. I don't know that door. I guess this is trade-off, is that his center of mass is just like, in the air, but his arms are, you know, weak, and his head. 
Yeah, Bloodborne 6 FPS. We're, we've been playing this all week and we're going to continue playing this all week. I also, because it's a jailbroken PS4 Pro, there's also a item and enemy randomizer mod. We'll be checking that out in the future too. That boss is weak because I think they expect you to find him early. You can find him pretty goddamn early, depending on if you do some like weirdo shit. I remember that that boss was the first I ever saw this game in like trailers. I saw like an IGN preview of like somebody fighting that boss. I was like, whoa, this game looks insane compared to Dark Souls 1. Yeah, you can find him as soon as you get caught by the Jailers. But in order to get caught by the Jailers, you have to skip Old Yarnum. No, you don't have to skip Old Yarnum for that. But, um, I'm thinking of the route to Dejura, the the turret guy. You can encounter him as a friendly NPC if you skip Old Yarnum, get taken by the Snatchers, and do that boss fight, and take that entrance to Old Yarnum. You can talk to the... Gatling gun guy is a friendly NPC if you do it in that weird order. I actually put something into strength. I'm, I want 16 strength to use the um, Ludwig sword when we get it eventually. How does that math work? Conversion rates to Europeans. The Great British Pound is, uh, pretty weak these days. I have, like, no vials again. How do I keep burning through my vial supply? I'm gonna go knock on Blood Bro's door again. This is the next best thing compared to the Come Dungeon, which I don't have access to on an offline PS4. I'll go... ...beat this guy's ass like four times so that I have another 20 vials on the back burner. Maybe, just maybe now I'll be able to kill this guy, actually. Ludwig. Do you think enough has changed? Do you think the Executioner gloves will get the job done? Or maybe even the Tiny Tantras? I'm gonna try, I wonder. <laughs> nope. Oh, I'll give it a shot. I really want to get this weapon as soon as humanly possible. I really want my arcane stat to be for something. Well, you can uh, give me a second to breathe, dude. I'm doing way more damage than the start of the stream, though. I'll take that for what it's worth. Nice whiffs, dude. You gotta love the bucking bronco attack that this guy fucking has. I hate this first phase. I really do. I'm doing damage though, look at the damage. Plus 9 by the way. Dude, the turnaround. This is his best dodge. He just turns around, he's gone. He's gone.
I deserve that. I deserve that for being a spammy Andy. We can do this, though. I have faith. Eternal with the five subs. Thank you very much. I thought that that was the, um, the other version of the leap where he doesn't have, like, the blood thing. Look at the damage. We got this. We can do it. I didn't even break any one of his limbs doing that. I was just hitting him. I don't even have the um, extra health. It's, not, it's almost 5%. I'm not going to take the time to get it. The Ludwig stream. Yeah, we've upgraded to doable territory now. I'm trying to figure out how to dodge that reliably. Hey, I always get clipped by it. The what? The whiff? That sucks. Come blaster. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Okay. Don't do it. I can't believe I didn't die. Not good. I got I got greedy. I thought I could punch that harder. This is totally doable. I just gotta just a drop of concentrated juice. What other items do I have? Delayed Molotov? Forgot that, that existed. I could throw like as many things as possible at him just to get the first phase over with. Let's start with these stupid Molotovs. Just quickly, just turns around and he's gone. His backlogs are just gone. He's gone. 
They're just gone. They're just gone. It feels like a risk every time I do it like that, honestly. I thought he would go down. Bro, any second now, right? I should be relieved or scared. Probably both. My true My guiding moonlight. I have like ten vials, I don't know. Was I just the fucking composer there? The an what did I do that animation? I'm the fucking composer for the song. Don't fucking die immediately, dude. It's all over. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything, dude. It's all over. I don't remember anything, dude, it's all over. The damage, dude. 80% of my life! I couldn't get composure. I got hit like four times by the projectile attacks, and then it was all over from there. Now I have no vials. Oh my! God, getting to phase two sucks. This is so rough. That, like, that plus the vials makes this extra fucked up. Because, like, if I go into the fight right now, I have no chance. Unless I don't get hit a single time. Which I'm gonna do. Take this out. Stagger. Dude, look at that. What, am, what are you supposed to do? 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 Good job. I will do that, no way. They just do this thing where they turn to face you and it happens to be their best defensive move ever. Because, like, they do an attack, they recover from it, and then they oscillate. They, like, spin. 
they turn to face you and like you're trying to hit like the back legs or something maybe i should just try to hit the front legs every time for that reason like they just swivel so quickly they look like all the bosses and like all the soul skins ever since this game do that and you just need to i just need to keep that i don't, I don't think it's iframe it's just fast and when it's a big boss like this they're just gone And I, I'm not adjusting to that. I don't know what, what I need to do for that, but I'll try. Yeah, I, I got zoned out so hard when I went to phase two. I didn't know what to do. Get that. You just don't. I'm just gonna play completely recklessly in phase one. That's the plan. No regard for human life or my time. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why did they make that attack? Why did they make that attack? Flame dog charge, yeah. Hot dog, you mean? Yeah, this is one of the shortest weapons in the game. That is true. I have to be particularly up his ass in order to make this weapon work. But when I do get up his ass, I can do a 17 million hit combo. Look at that, man. Everything hurts. I think they partially designed this game in mind for when you're playing unlocked, because like look at the way the camera zoomed out sometimes. It only happens when you're unlocked like this. I think. I don't know. Charge attack. What are you talking about? Oh man, I dodged his head and his back leg is what clipped me coming out of my roll. Should I have been locked on for that? Maybe I would have had extra distance if I were locked on when I dodged. That was a that was a roll, not a step. That is so fucked up. How much more precise do you have to be for that? Yeah, when the boss is so big that, like, you cannot... Like, you need to sprint around and you also need to fucking... See? Playing Unlocked is pretty good. But I feel like I just died because of that, too, though. Yeah, that... That just felt like you just get hit by that shit no matter what. Sometimes. I don't know how much better I could have done that dodge. It's fucked up. I'm gonna try walking on a little bit more, depending on what I'm doing. Oh, can they do that more often? That was kinda sick. Waste of stamina, don't do that. Does that have to do full damage when you're in point blank, dude? How am I... Wait a minute.
Wasn't I tanking this earlier? Wasn't I surviving this earlier? Hold on, let me put on the 5%. I was tanking that earlier. Like, five levels ago, I was not dying to that in a single hit. Is it the 5% rune that was keeping me alive? I didn't have that the whole time, did I? I've had... I've take, I've tanked that before. What's happening? Am I taking extra damage? Am I getting counterattacked? No, I'm not. Actually, maybe I am because I'm getting hit trying to dodge that. <laughs> maybe I'd be better off not trying to dodge that sometimes. Because you take extra damage if you're coming out of a roll. So when I fail to dodge that and I get hit by it, I take less damage. That's funny. Why am I here? Oh, yeah. That's not going to be helpful here. Give me uh, that. And the more vials as well, please. Not that I even have max or anything, but, you know. I'm taking extra damage to that because I'm fucking up the dodge. That's actually unironically how this game works. Not a shitpost. I'm not even kidding. That's how the system works. I'd be better off just face tanking that sometimes. Also, our vile counts getting better, I guess. It's an upside for not trying to heal on phase one, is that if I just die, which I will, I get a lot. I just wanted to save that fucking vial. This is going pretty well, going aggro like this. But too bad I don't have pellets right now. If I had pellets, I'd be going so crazy right now with damage. Don't do that. Charge attack. I just tried to double dodge like I was playing Neo, dude. I just tried to do the dodge roll from Neo where you press circle twice. It's all over. I'm losing it. What game am I playing? Instinctually, I saw the charge and I tried to Stranger Paradise roll dodge where you have to press it twice really fast. Alright, I might have figured it out. Too bad I took damage there. Go in, go in, go in, go in, man. No, don't jump! What game are you playing, Elden Ring? No! Not great. Okay. No, the, 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 the delay. Okay, good thing that wasn't a delayed projectile attack. Oh, stop doing that, man. Don't blow it, don't blow it, he's blowing it. This weapon is great for this kind of shit right now. Don't blow it. Yes! Yes! Up his ass. What is that? Oh! I thought that was an AoE. I, I actually thought that that was going to be like... Projectiles shoot at you for like 10 seconds. And you have to like run past them. Okay. That 
I had to go to the side. I okay, don't worry. I've not been doing this for five hours straight. Don't worry. I've been doing a bunch of other shit since you left, obviously, and then came back thinking that I've been doing this for five straight hours. Now we're good. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. We've done so many other things that aren't this boss just for five hours straight. Don't worry. I've been here the whole time. So what are you talking about? It's okay. It's good. It's good. That was the best it's ever been. This is the best it's ever been right here. Check this out. That was actually such a good attempt that... We're gonna do this attempt now. This weapon is plus nine. Look what's happening right now, dude. You see that? Yeah, now it's just a skill issue. It always has one. That's one way to dodge the charge. Just be so close that you just get out of there. It'd be better on my stamina bar if I knew how to dodge that normally, but I don't. Bro, will you stop fucking moving, bro? Face it. Face it. Doing that. Oh, that always happens to me at the start, like every attempt. I feel like that used to do that too. All right, down is the AOE, up is the fucking beam. Okay. That hurt. That really hurt. That fucking sucked. That was an Elden Ring delay. That was an Elden Ring delay. This is all Sham's fault. That was an Elden Ring delay. Locking on feels pretty good for phase two. Because you want to just kind of like swivel around him. Alligator strategy. I'm so close, I can feel it. I just don't remember the second phase much, but now I know. Kinda. Forgot I had this. Lucky piss vial. Also, if I don't jump at the start, that'd be fucking nice too. I shouldn't try punishing that if I can't just dodge roll it normally. Should have healed there. At least I'll get more vials for phase two. Thank God they put the the blood guy here. If they didn't put this vial Team guy here, this would be so, so bad. Us again. Thank you, blood bro.
Whoa, that was weird. That's like. The upside is, if I die really fast like that, I'll have like full vials. Just get the plus five right away. I had an attempt earlier where I chain knocked down, or not knocked down, but like I staggered him twice in like one sequence of R1s. It was really good. I don't know how to do it. I pretty much figured out how to like dodge into him so that I can like get under him while he's attacking. Okay, perfectly timed. I like being locked on. I think being locked on works out better for me here. At least for this weapon. I need the dash attack for this weapon to work here. Man, that sucks. He was so close to phase two, I just wanted to fucking kill him there, but he just fucking dashed in my face. I really do think if I just get hit by that without dodging, I'll take less damage. I swear to God, I have enough health to tank that if I don't take the counterattack damage. That is so brutal. I totally didn't realize that, that this game does fucking does that. You just die if you fuck up your dodge. It's weird knowing that you'll take less damage if you just, like, stand still. We've got this. Fucking level 68, Ludwig. That's what you want to see right there. Damage city. See, look! Look! Look at my health! I didn't dodge it at all and I took, like, nothing. I thought that was a lot, but I didn't fucking get one shot from full health, that's for sure. That's insane. That makes me not, not want to dodge that at all. That's crazy. Flawless. I pressed all one there. Oh. Not new game plus. Fuck. That was so. I died. That was so good, and then it was so fucking bad immediately. I tried to, like, dash R1 right as I got hit, and I took, like, a shitload of damage. I never realized how big of an effect that mechanic has on the game until now. You can just see how much more damage I take if I fuck up. It's really brutal. Give me the balls.
That was like the best phase one I've had, followed by the worst phase two anyone's ever had. Ever recorded. In history. Up, mix up. Doing beginner runs of KH1 was fun, but I kind of immediately felt that I would need to like actually practice a lot to get like decent times going forward. So, I don't know. It's not really my thing. It was fun, though. Might fuck around a bit at some point. That sucked. I got frame trapped. Summon me out, carry, smile. I think when I first played this game and I was on new game 3, like a fresh new game cycle, I had to summon because I was so, like, it was, like, such a fucked up scenario that I just had to summon because I wasn't prepared for this guy on new game, like, 3 or 4 or whatever I was on. I think I was on 4, actually. I had to get like three people and they all were getting fucked up. I can feel it. I've got phase one more or less downloaded. As long as I get the rhythm going. It's just phase two. I need to not get fucked up like immediately. You can get really fucked up really badly like right away. It's way more readable, but to me it's easier. Imagine doing this at 30 FPS. Just think about that, it could be so much worse. so far. I, okay. That's the damage you take if you don't dodge that. Notice how much less it is. Notice how I'm not fucking dead. Isn't that funny? Stop! Oh, I'm alive. I'm dead.
I couldn't tell that that was the short hop. How are you supposed to tell? I thought I knew. But I guess I don't. Is it that big of a deal? Yeah, it's not impossible to play this at 30, it's just feels way worse. And it's less responsive, you just have to adjust to it. You have to adjust to it being worse. So it's not the end of the world, but it sucks. It's not just how it looks, it's how it feels, too. You just have to be perfect about that, that's just how you have to do it. And I guess doing it late is better than not doing... Doing it way late is better than doing it early, because if you do it early, you get taken, you get hit by the double damage you're dead. If you do it late, then you don't dodge it at all, and you just, like, live. Because of the, the way that the mechanic works. I figured it out. That sucked a lot of dicks. That sucked a large number of penises in my mouth all at the same time, dude. Fuck. You can skip phase two with poison. Well, you just like poison them in phase one and it never rolls over to phase two. That's kind of funny. Black Doritos. Sweet and tangy barbecue. That's cool. I haven't had Doritos in a while. You know what I miss? They they used to make a flavor of spicy Lay's. It was just Lay's with just like the kind of generic, um, like just spicy powder. But then they replaced it with like spicy cheddar, and I don't like the spicy cheddar compared to the original spicy. Poison ticks down during the cutscene. Doesn't do that much to him. Look at how fast he is. Okay. Yeah, dodging late is the way to go in this game. Just always. Never early. Okay. Oh, the dead angle. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. Composure. I'm not angry. I'm angry at myself for falling for that for the fourth time. It's okay. Shit. Think about it. I'm so close. I'm so close to understanding this. That sounds a lot worse than it actually is when I do that. There's something on my desk that, like, amplifies the sound of that. Maybe it's just because the microphone arm is, like, screwed into the desk. So it sounds a lot worse than it is, I assure you. I probably should try that poison strat. That's probably funny. If it gets dire.
you can staple yourself under him and make him like whiff pretty hard if you go all up in this duodenum. I think I figured it out. Oh my god! I tried to... I don't know why I just tried to do that. I tried to dash sideways out of a run. And I didn't realize how big of a mistake that would be. I didn't realize that that doesn't work. This isn't fucking Stranger Paradise where you can just like dodge out of a sprint flawlessly because they actually made the game correctly. I just need to unlock and start sprinting when the cum blaster happens. It's so easy. I guess I'm getting hella vials now. I'm like really ahead on my vial count. You think they'll make a Stranger Paradise 2? I don't think so. I wouldn't mind though. I feel like I got my fill. I'm so close. What's happening right now? I'm not good at dodging that normally. I just need to sprint that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. That's such a fucked up quirk of this game, now that I've really seen it in effect and, like, realized what it is. If you fuck up a dodge, it's worse than just taking the hit. I don't know how I feel about that. It amplifies your fuck up so much. I haven't played anything by Team Ninja that isn't Neo or Stranger of Paradise now. That was one of those dodges where, like, you dodge, you get out of the way, but then, like, his toenail hits you as you're recovering from your dodge, and it's, it's just over. This is one of those. We can do this. I just wish I didn't eat shit, like, immediately into sword phase so quickly, like, 400 times. It's just one of those things where you get into, the, you finally get to the second phase, and then you just kind of like panic. You beat it. That sucks to get hit there. I felt like I dodged like all of that, if I did.
Look, that does like no damage when I don't try to dodge it and fail. It's crazy. I can't believe I got out of the way. I thought I'd get stuck on the wall and get hit by that anyways. Am I fucked? I'm fucked. I'm not fucked. His thing got fucked up. His thing failed. He like hit the wall and canceled itself or something. I don't know. Sandbagging for the VOD watchers. Imagine, dude. I'm really just caught up on the the counterattack damage you take when you try to fucking dodge. It's actually like fucking me up right now. I died because of that just now. Stop extending stream. What's up, Sivo? Bro, I mean. <laughs> I could go for a pizza and an episode of House right now. But I, I don't want to get iced by this fight. I don't want to go to bed thinking about all the things I did wrong in this fight. I've done that one too many times on this stream. It's not going to happen. I'm going to double, triple down. KFC. right there. That did not hit me. Fuck you. No way. It did. Beep, beep, beep. I hit you three times. Hey, hey, hey. I hit you three times in a single swing. You get three times in a single swing. Beep, beep, beep. One swing, three hits. Yeah, I noticed that with the charge attack. If you, like, he... He doesn't track when he's starting it up, so if you're already moving out of the way in advance, then you have way better odds of dodging it. That's why it feels, like, so fucked up when it happens. That's why it feels so fucked up when you get hit by it. I don't know. It's just hard to know in advance that you're gonna hit, get hit by that shot, dude. And you can't just start sprinting right away. It's not like it's Stranger Paradise. Dodging the charge is like, if it's gonna happen, then you're gonna be able to do it. Nice circular sentence. But you know what I mean. See, look at that lingering hitbox. That's why you don't want to dodge backwards in here. I think he recognizes that. Yeah, he, he knows. He knows. Why am I getting hit there? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Kinda sucks, but I might be able to handle it. Okay. It seems like just sidewalking is enough to efficiently dodge the Just a little bit of sidewalking in advance will see the deal. I don't know where I am. 
Phase two, where is it? There it is. Thank you. Thank you, Wispon, the seven. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, what are you supposed to do about that? Wow. No stamina. It's okay. Yes! It's over! He's starting to believe! This game is so fucking good. Have I ever told you how this is the best game ever made by FromSoft? That was sick. This game owns. That was hard. thing I did was pop the um, the special vial that I was holding onto the whole time. I was so relieved that it didn't have a special long animation. I thought it would. Like a humanity. Same, honestly. He's still alive. Oh, he's not. I can't even equip it because I don't have the strength. I'm not even allowed to hold it. I need two more points of strength. I'll go get the two points of strength and then um call it. Shrouded by night, but with steady strife. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. That was crazy. Oh man. Fucking gun grandpa back there. Oof. Do you take extra damage if you're sprinting too? What the hell is that? Oh, that must have been a headshot. That's what that was. Headshots. What if I lost my Ludwig souls? Boost. A tragic figure. But he will shame himself no longer. 
He died with his ideals untarnished. He was a true hero, and earned that much at least. Oh. Tarnished? Huh? Elder? Man, the dastardly duo. Fucking Hector and Tuco right here, dude. Okay. I think the most satisfying thing in this game is when that happens. You trade with your... Like, you take a really heavy hit, but you trade with the parry, and then you get all your health back, frame one. Because the first stage of the visceral attack is, like, insane, um... Some kind of insane multiplier for the rally. It's like infinite multiplier. Twiddle D and Twiddle Dickhead over here. Are you a hunter? Do you hear the the beast? You go back to your place. Whatever. Shut up. Yeah, this weapon is weird. I don't know. It's a secondary, it's a gun. It's not even a gun. It's just a little sidearm that you can, like, slap stuff with. It's interesting. Strength weapon. Strength and blood tinge, actually. I'll have to, ooh. I'll get good use out of that on the, um, the gun build. That's cool. It's a parry. Does it parry? Can you parry with that? No way. Description. Heavy stagger. Can you parry with that? That'd be really cool. I don't think so, though. Never heard of that. I do shit damage with it because I don't have any strength or tinge, but the parry would be cool. Oh my god, it's a, this guy might actually kill me. Barely survived that, okay. Look at how much insight I have all of a sudden. That's cool. I don't know. I think it costs like 23k to level up. I just need two levels and I'll be able to use the sword. I want to at least equip it and like show the moveset before we call it for the night. Damn, what a crazy session of Bloodborne this was today. We didn't do as much as like any of the other sessions. But it was so worth it. It was so worth it, dude. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that on purpose, so it was based. Random fucking DS4 pop off right there. I need 18k more. What if I just sell all these? 68? I'm gonna keep those. I could actually probably use all those and then buy something more valuable than that. I don't think I have pocket souls to buy. Maybe I could buy that set and sell it. I could probably sell a bunch of stuff. Like clothes, maybe. Chow stuff that I'm not going to use. Weapons I'm not going to use. This is arcane. I oh, fuck that. I'll keep that. I'll just sell the ones I know I'm not going to use like that. Or that. Oh yeah, this is free. <laughs> Look at how many souls I have. Whoa, I should have done that. Well, what? I'm not using those weapons. Well, let me... Fuck those weapons. Farewell. My guiding moonlight.
Oh, that uses a bullet. Listen to that noise, dude. You hear that? The sound effect that comes after, like at the end there, that's such a classic. I love that noise. So it's got the Claymore moveset. One-handed. Look at that, dude. So cool. This does so much less damage, but it's not upgraded. Fixes in. Alright, how are we gonna handle this here? Skill scaling, maybe? Or just your standard 12% for everything? The Blade of Mercy is still going to be better for a while. I don't know. We'll see. It'll just be nice to have a weapon with like a, you know, some range to it. That's worth quite a bit on its own. Rom. Rom's crazy boss. Now what are we at? 386 untransformed. Oh, it doesn't update the stats in the um this when you transform it. It's got B arcane and B strength. Yeah, this would be better if you were on a strength and arcane build. But that's okay, because it's got good arcane scaling to make up for it. We don't need to be perfect. Just as long as I can use two of my favorite weapons. That's good by me. And I guess we get decent scaling out of the skill that it has. Though I thought I'd get up to C by now. That would be... It's fine though. The arcane aspect of this sword is only 80 plus 33. That's kind of interesting. I just need to start cranking my arcane stat from now on, I think. Get the most out of 100 tools in this weapon. Make up for the fact that I'm on a strength build to augment this weapon. On your first playthrough, you're probably fine just putting points into skill and um, strength. That covers you for like the majority of the weapons. Most weapons. Oh my god, the drip I can sell. That'll allow you to use most weapons and, you know, still benefit from, like, everything. I can sell the crown, too, right? Yeah. Look at how much money I have. What the fuck? Okay. I forgot that you get to do that. Well, good. Very well. Let me... You get three points of strength, three points of attack for every point into that. But not as much for arcane. What's going on here? Arcane. B arcane is not the same as B strength. Thank you, Bloodborne. That's a Bloodborne moment right there. Look, for five points of arcane, I get four points of attack. For the Moonlight Sword and three for the goddamn Blade of Mercy. What the hell? Arcane scaling sucks. What the fuck? That's not the Tantris. That's the um, Moonlight Sword, which does not seem to update once you pop its. Uh... It probably doesn't show the extent of the arcane damage because it has projectiles in the transformed mode, so it might not fully convey what you actually do with the arcane aspect of it. Am I right to assume that? It 
Because I'm tempted to pump my hurricane. <laughs> or maybe I'll just put some points into strength just to even out the build. It doesn't need to be pure skill and arcane. You don't get anything for strength for the Blade of Mercy. 20 strength would probably be nice just for this weapon. I could take it or leave it for everything else. All beyond is 40 arcane. Uh, not that good of a, of a tool, is it? It's also so late into the game. Arc is good for Moonlight Greatsword. In a way that I can't see on the stats, right? Like the projectiles that come out of the sword. You know what? Fuck it. Item discovery. Give me the 30 arcane. We're going in. Farewell, good. Let's preview this weapon for a little bit before we uh, call it for the night. Do a nice little yeah girl village clear. Why not? Wiki. Thirty arcane, baby. Have faith in the arcane stat. This sword probably tastes good. Forbidden popsicle. having a slow weapon like this. What the fuck? Whoa, what the hell just hit me? Sea salt. It also uses bullets when it does stuff like that. So you gotta be a little, a little careful. How's the damage looking for this thing? It's only a plus six, but, you know. Probably the best thing I can use my arcane stat on is the projectiles that this thing has. I seem to get chunks for this weapon now. I'm sure I'll get those in the next areas. I'm probably never going to use this thing untransformed. It doesn't seem worth. It's just like some random fucking sword. Some bum ass sword. R101. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool little discharge. It's like an AoE little pound in front of you. Does it use a bullet? It, I don't think it does. It doesn't use a bullet, but that's like hella damage. That's cool. I think I'll use that a lot. It's a good, uh, good tip. I'm just gonna use that move. It does like the same damage, 100% arcane right there. Good tip. That's a good tip. Free, pure arcane attack right there. What about the, the other one? The other way around. I might put some points into strength in this thing just to, you know, augment the strength aspect of this weapon a little bit. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy about this build. Using both of these weapons together is pretty nice. Now I've got options instead of just using Blade of Mercy for everything. Yeah, the noises are great. 
they're all stock sound effects and they're they're so goaded for it. The Baja Blast, great sword. No, I should nobody made that joke. But I did say I wanted to I wanted to taste the sword, so I guess I was halfway there. Bro, oh, what's going on in Detroit? Dude, fucking snipers, dude. I got shot by that guy coming from like 30 feet away, and it comboed me into getting hit by that. Because that enemy can do that. I've got to get my ship back. It's a good finisher. You got like the health figured out. 194 damage kind of sucks. It, yeah, I can really see the difference between what moves are primarily strength and what moves are primarily arcane. So I gotta be, I gotta be picky with this weapon. Untransformed. Oh no. I can probably do a combo that just transforms and untransforms constantly. That's probably the the move for this setup. Oh. I don't have enough stamina for that, that's hella costly. My stamina bar. Where's the nearest lamp? I gotta get out of here. Chunks are in that door behind you? Oh shit. Hold up, Chunks. How far back are we talking? This door? didn't untransform when I bonked on the wall, you see that? You gonna fight Amygdala in the extreme? I'll probably get to that area, yeah. Most likely. I don't think this is the area. There are no chunks in here. Sounds like past tense. Hand lantern used to reduce stamina regen. That's funny. Good thing they got rid of that. Oh, 
Where's the next lamp? Probably the boss arena here, right? I got so many souls from selling my gear. What the hell? Far away, you. Look at the range on these fuckers, dude. Look at that. That should be illegal. Bro. My fucking Deus Ex tweet is like blowing the fuck up with the hell. Alright. Wait, what moves that? That was L2. I forgot about that. That's sick. I was very well. I'll go more, um, just more bit. Farewell, good mate. Alright. Without further ado, that is it for me tonight. That was sick. That was a very weird session. But I can't say it sucked because we killed Ludwig. Have a good night, everyone. Next stream will be more of this. You know the vibes. We're, beating, we're playing this until it's done. Game owns. I'm so glad that I can play it properly now. Thank God, dancing stick man. Blood wig. Blood wig stream. Alright, that's it. Have a good night.